Hello? Walk one, baby. Talk fast. You have one minute. Because on a Friday night, me have a tune in to Real Talk on Stars 96 FM. Me and you have questions about love, birds, and the bees. Not to mention the ticks and the fleas. So you try tune in on a Friday night between 9 and 12 for Real Talk. At a show we discuss everything real and nothing ideal. Hey guys, good night, good night, good night, and welcome to Real Talk. You know when you say you love us, guess what? We love you guys so much more, and that is why we do this over and over every week, just so that you can be educated and entertained, and of course, feel free to express yourselves in a Real Talk kind of way. Welcome to the show. It's your girl, Lady Cleo, and of course, filling in for Daddy Rude tonight with me is none other than DJ. Prestige, I call him Mr. Snoozik. Of course, you know you hear him on a Tuesday night, 9 to 12 as well. All right, welcome to the show with me tonight. Prestige, great to have you. I want to say good night to our listening audience. You know, I am here feeling good. Feeling and looking great. good. Can I tell you, ladies? Thank you very much. Is looking it very sharp. The, the yellow? I don't know if it's a sunshine yellow that brightens you up a little bit more. You've always been bright, but you're looking a little bit brighter tonight. Thank you very much. Looking very sharp and clean mm. shaved. And mm. when did you shave? Um, sometime last month. Last when? Month. So you have your hair stop grow? Ah, uh, last night. Last. <laughs> no, no, no. Sorry, I'm <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're yeah. going to discuss that yeah, later no, on. Yeah. <laughs> but tonight we have our engineering studio, Cassidy, the silent assassin, the videographer, photograph, photographer as well. All right, so make sure you check him out when you have those bookings to do. All right, we go from now until midnight, so stick and stay with us right here on Styles FM. Turn your dials, of course, to 96.1, 96.5, 96.7 on the FM dial. Wherever you are across Jamaica tonight, we welcome you to the show. And for those of our friends who are overseas, we want to say welcome, welcome, welcome to Real Talk as well. All right, we're going to be giving you... We see Lisa from Atlanta locked in already. Good night to you, princess. All right, we're going to be giving you those in-house matters right about now we giving we're going to give you those on the go numbers and the local and international connection if you wish to call in or text in later on as we proceed all right so the local number we'll start with that one it's 876-453-1444 that's 876-453-1444 Four. And if you're calling from overseas, the number is 954-338-7973. That's 954-338-7973. And our friends who are on the go in the USA, the number is 712-832-2772. And in the US of A, sorry, in the UK, it's 033001033322. And in good old Canada, we have that number is 647-957-9637. So those are, those are our on-the-go numbers for the USA, Canada, and the UK. Now, let's hook up our social media peeps. You know you guys are large. All of those who are on the Facebook Live connection coming in already, big ups to you. And our friends who do Instagram, you can follow us at Styles FM. If you are a Twitter fan, you check us out at Styles FM 961. And tonight's show is streamed live on Facebook. Go to Styles FM 96.1, check out the fan page, and feel free to leave your comments right there. All right, and enjoy the show as you go along as well. All right, and t remember too that the show is posted afterwards on YouTube. So you can check out um, Styles of M Radio on the YouTube connection. If you also wish to send us a regular SMS or a WhatsApp message only, you can send that as well to the local line, which is 876-453-1444. If it's your first time joining us on Real Talk, please be reminded that we are not able to take WhatsApp calls, only WhatsApp messages only all right so use up the local line and call in the show if you want to talk to us or if you have something to share all right and of course we will 
have a whole lot of fun going into tonight. Um, Prestige, I must tell you that it's been an exciting week, uh, a fantabulous week. It's been so fantastic and fabulous that it's uh, that it has been a fantabulous mm -hmm. week. Mm -hmm. um, one of the exciting points for me is that there, of course, you know, there's a 25, the 25th James Bond film yes. being filmed right here in our very own Portland, right? Yes. So that is intriguing. Um, I know that they have been, well, they're probably based in the Sansan area. I know they have been in and around Port Antonio doing shoots and mm -hmm. stuff like that. So it's been interesting um, to know that they have captured the most beautiful naturally beautiful parish in on the island that is of course portland and this is where well predominantly i believe the filming will take place so that's interesting the first james Bond movie yes i think the filmed, first one was yeah. also in jamaica, jamaica. Right? i'm not quite sure where in jamaica but yeah. yes so, so we're doing we're large, and places, we're large and in yeah. charge yeah yeah and, and I, I i i think i heard this is the last Oh, episode. okay. If so this, not, you this, know, is I'm a, just saying. this is a dot on the map. Mm -hmm. It's so large right now, mm -hmm. isn't it? Cool. And um, earlier today, I heard a discussion about who should be the Jamaican female who should be in the Bond film. What and persons were... I could have done it too. Yeah, yeah. I could do it. <laughs> I, yeah. I could, right? But some of the discussions, some of the names that were thrown out, um, I think Spice was mentioned. Yeah. And um, Terry Carell Griff. Tara Carell Reed, mm -hmm. rather, she was. Mentor. I think she's our latest, the the latest rising star yes. host. Yeah. I'm in favor of Tara Carell. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I didn't get to hear all the other suggestions because I was moving about when I was hearing it. Yeah. So um. What about Yendi? Um, they mentioned Yendi as well. Yes. Yeah. Yendi could be yeah. my second choice, yeah. but yeah. I'm really in was, for yeah. Tara Carell. Mm -hmm. I think they also mentioned someone who does uh, i think it's the pnp youth president she is mm -hmm. i don't remember her name so, what happened to lisa anna lisa hanna um i don't remember i don't know if she was but i didn't hear her name but she could be yeah yeah she could be and if pierce brosnan happens to be mm -hmm. the star which i don't think he's gonna be the james bond um mm -hmm. feature mm -hmm. feature star Lady Cleo was but mentioned. No, but in my it's all in my head. It's it's all in my head. I yeah. think about it. Yeah. yeah. So those are some prospects. Let's see. Maybe if maybe after tonight. Maybe. This show. Maybe. Who knows? You get me. Because I'm, I'm being hopeful. You know, they might listen. They li <laughs> yeah, they are listening right now. All right. So you. that is a big highlight for me. And anybody yeah. they choose, oh my goodness. One, she's just, oh, Spice, was, I mentioned that Spice was also mentioned, yes. right? Mm -hmm. So anybody they choose from Jamaica, any Jamaican girl they choose, boy, I tell you, I'm going to be extremely to ecstatic me, you know, me and elated about that. Touch me little linky linky when yes, me man. They, touch they everybody. Them <laughs> FM here, them okay, okay. It would okay. be nice if Styles FM. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. It could be nice to have a local, two local girls. One popular, yeah. one no, I'm talking not about so popular. Style FM radio station. They just come in and just do oh, a little do, clip them thing. Boom, oh, okay, that would be good too, don't it? Yeah. Yes, man. Mm. Large up. Yeah. So, let's see what happens. Eh? I don't mind if they're and then come. Okay. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, I, 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 like you. Prospect. I, I like the prospect. I like the prospect. Yeah, I would call you. Yes. Yeah. And, and my other highlight for mm. this week... Um, I worked this morning. Oh. So all those who were trying to get me, you mm. couldn't get me. I was at work from after 10 this morning to after 4. Oh, wow. So we had a regional fair there. And mm. big ups, big ups to the team from the JTA Cooperative Credit Union. Yeah. Can I tell yeah. you? They pulled up all stops and they brought it to Portland. It was a regional fair. So mm. St. Thomas, St. Mary, Portland mm -hmm. were the main parishes mm -hmm. um, for the region. Mm -hmm. However, people from all up other parishes came yeah man yeah. visited and we had a good day it was pretty hot mm -hmm. now and again this the, the the sea breeze the caribbean breeze from that peninsula there up titchfield yeah. blew across but it was kind of warm nevertheless we had a great day short boss rising stars winner mm. 2017 tore the place down and of course german edwards gospel recording artist, artist. 
set the praises up. Yeah, oh. so it was a good day. Oh. And here I am trying to stay in one piece because I'm tired. Yeah. But Likewise. we have a show to do, guys, and I mm. know you're going to be sticking with us throughout the show. So I dare you to take your fingers and dial, 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 dial those numbers and hook us up. And just before we go to that break in two minutes, the people in St. Thomas, St. Thomas, Whitehall, all the adjoining communities of Whitehall. Yes, so on Big Shop and Clooney and everybody who had their sports day last Monday, on Monday rather. Boy, I tell you, kudos to you guys. Big ups, big ups every time. I got to load you up again. A second year I've been, the second year I've been there. And trust me, they put out everything. Everybody just comes out. They have categories of runners still look bad. Oh. Uh, categories from picnic to uh, all 40 and over. Yeah? So everybody just got the chance to run till even night. It came so late that, you know, they weren't able to finish up this year. Probably, probably about two or three races weren't done. But for the most part, everybody just had fun. The cheerleading squads. This was Man. an event that advertised. How oh, many of you about it? No, I don't know if it was advertised. I must ask mm. Gary. Picture frame if he advertised this one because yeah. we would love to see more people coming out and yeah. supporting uh, yeah, come, that come community venture. It. So everybody who came mm. out and supported over there in Whitehall, the sports day, yes. And I must say kudos to Picture Frame and his organizing team, the teachers from the primary schools who came out, the officials, the sporting officials who came out to assist with the athletes. Okay. Very good job, very great job. So big ups to Santa Thomas people right now, Mommy and the crew. Um, everybody up there in white all listening, Daddy, listening in, Uncle Barry, big ups to you. All right, and all the people in St. Mary, you're large and in charge. All the taxi drivers on the road right now, keeping it safe and transporting people from to and from, big up on yourself. Portland people, big ups to you too, St. Anne people, and all of you across Jamaica right now tuning in we're gonna go to that 9 30 break the time is brought to us by vj printing services and real talk is sponsored by native audio stage and lighting more when we come back architects draftsmen and surveyors get your drawings printed in high quality professional standards we can satisfy your printing needs whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application make it vj printing services whether drawing by hand or with computer aided softwares we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need we do high quality white paper printing that is water resistant and never fades unlike traditional blueprint for more information call vj printing at eight nine three two two six six guess what styles fm has a new business number for you to call text and now whatsapp five one eight two three nine nine to advertise your business and events call text or whatsapp us on five one eight two three nine nine five one eight Two, three, nine, nine. Don't forget, 518-2399. It's here for the first time when Knox and Keeney and I Grace Studio present Mountain Splash. Saturday, May 11 at the Empire Roost Lawn, Albion Mountain, Port Maria. Music juggling by Roost Rock Sound and Super Gold from Houston, Texas. Featuring the great Dean Fraser, Leroy Simmons from the Eptown, Duane Stevenson, Jonah Kiat, Tinga Stewart, Merciless, Dan Mafia, Lalumba, Frigo Boss, Quote the Five, Emma Ruta, Faria, Shabari, and Aichila King will be there too. Show will be hosted by Bob Clark from IRFM. Admission, $1,000 the gate. And part of this proceed will go to the Albion Mountain Basic School, which is desperately in need of it. So make it a date and don't be late. This is Jati, the Reggae Ambassador. Join me this and every Saturday from 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. Right here in Styles FM 96.1, 96.5, 96.7 for the Tony Larvin Show in style on style. We're going to eat you off that G spot at 3 o'clock. We've got the collector's edition with Twin Spin. Inside Music Biz with Teddy Ledley. Nuff, nuff, niceness. Right here in Styles FM. This and every Saturday from 1 p.m. until 5 p.m. You got it? Do you have or are you seeking a place to rent? Seeking 
seeking employment or have a job vacancy? Are you selling a car or having a garage sale? Then come see us. Let Styles do the advertising for you and you'll be on your way in no time. Contact us at 876-286-9216 or 439-5160. Advertising Style. Advertise with Styles. Take us to work. Take us on the go. Take us wherever you go. Styles FM. Take Styles FM with you on the go. The number for USA, 213-992-4360. That's 213-992-4360. And for the United Kingdom, 033-0010-3322. That's 033-0010-3322. Styles FM. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, now offering stage, lighting, and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party, or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. Welcome back to Real Talk. If it's your first time, hey, welcome to the show. All right, great having you with us. And we see a new friend here, John Williams from New Clarendon. Listening to stars loud and clear, that's great to know. But I also want to know, John, if New Clarendon happens to be in a different parish or if it's Clarendon. Are in a different country. I don't know. <laughs> where, where is New Clarendon, sir, please? Yeah. Thank you. All right, we look out for that text telling us where that is exactly. Um, big ups to Sadie. Hi, Sadie. Good night, She's Sadie. She's here tuned in. All right, good to have you with us. And Crystal Tomlinson. Hey, Crystal. Good to have you on board as well. And our good old friend Lisa. Yes, man, not leaving us out at all. All those who are tuning in, where's Devoy? I haven't heard from Devoy in a long time. All the peeps who have not texted in for a long time, I am imploring you, I dare you to text in tonight. Big ups to Marvin from Texas. Yes. Um, I wasn't able to be here last Freeze. week. Yeah, Osh Marvin. So. Uh-huh. But you were here, who was here last week? You were here last week, no? Weren't you here no. last week? Daddy Rude. No. Oh, no, we weren't here last week. Yeah, no, it was, it holiday, was weekend. holiday weekend. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was Good Friday. Yeah. Yes, you know, so that was what kind of switched things up a little bit. You know what I noticed, yeah, man. Lady Cleo? Uh-huh. Easter. Yes. It's oh. like Easter does come. And gone? And Easter is all about just party you now. It's not like the traditional thing like back then. You know, then. some people... When you eat Easter bun and all that, something. You know, you know, you can Easter bun, <laughs> not even a slice of Easter bun. Is that what it's all about? Hold on. Hold on. Did you know that Easter is not really about this Easter bun and cheese? Eh? It's not so much about the bun and cheese, No, really. but our tradition, when we grew up... That's a part of it. We, we, we have adopted that as a yeah. part of it. But you never know, get, get any bun? No, I never eat any bun. Did you get bun? I never eat any bun. I never eat any cheese. Did you give any bun? Yes, I gave one bun and it so cost me six hundred. And and it cost me six hundred and, 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 and <laughs> something a dollar. dollars. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, did I get any <laughs> bun? I, You're not I talking got... about sun bun. No, just no bun. sun bun. Just bun. Oh, I, mean, I, I got, got bun. sun burn. I got buns. You know, I say sun bun. Yeah. I got buns. Oh, bun. you... I got buns. Eh? Mm-hmm. Mm. Two. He never gave no And I gave away one. In gear bun? Over the weekend? Uh, with cheese, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the topping is on it. And of course, <laughs> uh, I, I got yeah. some bun mm. and mm. cheese together. Oh. Yes, but it was more so reminiscing mm. on, you know, this essence of yeah. the crucifixion the crucifixion and resurrection not even on TV mean the same thing that no man the work. movie came man the eh? crucifixion story I think it came on television when? um I think it was Friday Friday I think so yeah <laughs> but you see a lot Why? of a lot of young people tend yeah. not everybody but a lot of young people mm. tend to see the holidays not so much in reverence for what the true essence is about or what yeah. the significance 
is of it. That's what I said. Yeah, they see the holiday they, as party to party. Yeah, as a means of go um, to the beach. You get me, I say? We, and, and stuff like that. Sit down and get floss. And nothing is really wrong in going no. to the beach and relaxing because mm. people who get the one day off, mm. really, mm. Um, not everybody gets a week and odd off like some of us, yeah? <laughs> so uh, there are some people who just get like the exact holiday off. So if you want to go to the beach and relax a little bit and, you know, unwind with family and friends, that's, that's quite fine. Mm -hmm. But I think we should also find some time to reflect if it is that we are spiritual and... Um, Christian oriented as our nation is for those of us who are then we ought to find time to that reflect. traditional thing fade out That's on what that I as well yeah. alright we have a call on the overseas connection good night welcome to Real Talk greetings greetings hi Dan Dan how you doing yes yes great I to have you, you. I see, you. I see, I see you, didn't, you didn't leave any bun for me I left I can't give you a bun <laughs> <laughs> How are you? Hello? Yes, how are you, Dan Dan? I am very good. Did you receive any, though, from somebody else? I... I don't know. I, I, part, I partook in bun, yes. Oh, you gave <laughs> you gave some bun? The eat bun, man. No oh, you eat bun. It's so about time you started yes. eating something like that, yes. Yeah. Okay. Wait. Did I hear you say something about James Bond coming to Grand Tournament? Actually, James Bond film is currently in Port Antonio. Oh, really? Yes, it's being filmed. Filming actually is is, is going on presently. Okay. We are in the air oh. of filming right now. Yeah. Okay. Isn't that amazing? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Absolutely. James Bond, I know James Bond movie came came to Jamaica twice before, and then them never reached Port Antonio. Oh no, man! They got a, they got the message that Portland has natural beauty, picturesque scenes, and the perfect spot to do the twenty fifth. Yeah, but them 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 would not know that for a long time because well, um, nothing happens before the time, honey. <laughs> that's true because. The, the 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 creator of the series ian fleming right right he That's would have known yeah. he would have known yeah yeah and I, and I, and i know he would have traversed the island definitely from all them time then definitely well I whatever the, the reason movie. behind it we're glad it's here yeah i know the first movie dr no was i remember i remember i seen from from palisados yes the movie there. And the other one, oh, um, I think it's Live and Let Live, was, was all over the North Coast. Yeah. Ma Montego Bay, um, Trelawney, you know, the Green Gutter Cave and everything there. Mm -hmm. so, I, I love yeah. the boost. I love the concept of it. I love the boost it's going to be giving to the little dot on the map. I love how it's going to be, well, it's presently, you know, um, improving even small businesses here in Portland. Well, you know? I, 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 don't, I don't know if I remember 30 years ago when um, when the Mighty Queen with Denzel Washington was filmed mm -hmm. in, Port, in Port Antonio. Yeah, man, I think I remember seeing bits of that, scenes of that, yeah. Yeah, man, but well, 75% it, it, of, 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 of the film was filmed in Port, in Port Antonio, in and around Port Antonio. Uh -huh. um, but yeah, the, the, the thought process at the time was that this would have given giving Portland a, a, a big boost in, in the film industry, but it yeah. never really took off. Never really took off. But but there are so, movies that have come to the island, you know, but I don't know. Well, it's, it's, it seems to me, you know, that um, seeing that we sort of missed the boat some time ago, we should probably have a, um, have like a, like a film, sort of a film steering committee formed among Portlanders to you know, to pitch the parish for more... For more for films more. to come here. The yeah. Was, yeah, yeah, I, because, think, I, think, I think that's a good idea. You, you, and, I, you and I would know that the, 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 the scenes, the, the picturesque scenes in Portland, they're, so they're endless. And Oh, my goodness. Don't even speak about endless. it. Endless. Definitely. So I, I, I trust the people who are listening 
the young people who are listening and the older folks can pass on the message that we need to have mm. an organization, a group that is formed out of this that's look, that speaks to looking at how it is that we can invite and crave other film producer, filmmakers and producers to come to the island and to come to Portland in particular to do more filming. Yeah, and, 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 it's, and, it's, and it's, um, it's, co it's cost prohibitive. It's, you know, it's not like say, Portland is, 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 is anywhere as expensive as, say, the, you know, the western part of the North Coast. Yes. You know, so... <clears throat> It should, it should be a good look. Yes. Definitely. All, All right. right. I guess I'll stay tuned for this film. Pardon me? <laughs> I guess I'll stay tuned. Look out for this film. Definitely. All right. All right, Dan. Dan. Thanks so much for your input. Later. All right. So we see our friends on the Facebook Live. Prestige rolling in. That's good. That's good. That's good. And of course, Lenky from White House, St. Thomas, texting in from earlier. Big up yourself, Lenky, every time. All right, so we're going to go into our Vox Pop idea. We do have a Vox Pop idea tonight. And um, we see, well, Sadie Bumpy, Bumper, um, locked in already. Good night to you um, on the Facebook Live. Big up, big up, big ups. All right, so here we go with our Fox Pop concept for tonight. Please feel free to share, share, share all you can with us tonight. Even lovers need a holiday. Mm, true. <laughs> Have you ever felt overcrowded by your partner and need some breathing space? Please share your experience. Have you ever felt overcrowded by your partner and need some breathing space. Please share your experience. How much room do you think you and your partner should allow each other to have? You know, how much room? A, a small room, a bathroom size room, a living room size space, a master bedroom size space, or a kiddie's bedroom size space. Space, I don't know, <laughs> or a veranda space. How much space <laughs> do you think you and your partner should allow each other? Or do you think having him or her on a leash is best? So you reel him in when you want to see him, yes. and you reel her out when you, you know, how, how much of a space do you think you need? How much room you need? Yeah, from your partner, how much you should have from each other. Or do you think having him or her on a leash is best? Part three says, how receptive are you to an open relationship? <laughs> Try to lock up my one, you see? How receptive are you to an open relationship? Share your thoughts. So, let us, relatively start breaking down. So you know that for those who might not know, an open relationship is pretty much so we're together prestige and it's okay for you to see other persons and I'm aware of that and I'm okay with that and vice versa. You know, if it is that I want to um, continue to date somebody else and to test the waters to see, you know, what else is out there while we're together in the open relationship you have come to some common ground and common understanding of where you both stand Tired and what your plan plans are Tired as it relates to seeing Tired other people. Tired of you. Yeah. So, you know, <laughs> that, that's pretty much the concept of open. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Not many people, I think, are receptive to that. Mm -hmm. I, for one, boy, I don't know. I, I don't analyze myself being the person to say, oh, yes, honey. You're going out tonight with Susie? Sure, that's fine. And I, I'm, but whether I'm, I'm home or I'm going to be going out too, I'm fine with it. And he just goes out, sees Susie, whether they're just going for a drink or they're going to get their groove on, yeah. getting into some dancing moves and mm. all these things. I don't know. Not, but it's like the person is okay with it. Not underneath my regime. Uh, me neither. Me can't see yeah. myself saying, okay, yeah. okay with that. I'm alone yeah. to my thing. Yeah, me can't see that. So, yeah. you see, I'm going to hide and do it, uh, whatever. Yeah. But to openly say, yeah, it's, it's okay. 
Mm. Nah, I'm not seeing that. That would be cheating if me not agree and, and with the open relationship. I guess it, I guess it would be. And yeah, I don't do things. It would be cheating if the person not agreeing yeah. with it and they don't know about and it. And then right as on the other day, you own it, me find out. Oh. Because you go to the door. Okay. Yes. So what about if you if you want to say see a chick because you know for mm. opportunity's sake mm. you love to be at home you know but you want to say boy you know mm. me i gotta try a thing for see if things can work out in my favor because this chick you're foreign like me still you know she don't do anything for me you know so yeah. and me i gotta just run a thing and see how it goes i don't make my other half no no probably you would tell her yeah that if she would agree agree with it so if she, she agree, agree with it you won't do it eh? me she, not do it so you know what i got foreign eh-eh. You don't want papers? No. Okay. Real talk. I'm comfortable with my sister. The sister? Yeah, it's where we can go for it. It's where we can go for it together. Okay. All right, yeah. sir. All right, so let's look at this at, from the top now. Um, so, lovers, the song says, even lovers need a holiday. Oh, All right, my so, God. We don't know, but Cassidy, what do you want a holiday from your girl? Depends on what, my youth. Mm. If she nagin. If she nagin. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh Lord. Then so you would nagin. need you would need a holiday. If she's nagin. Yes. Okay. You need more than holiday. No, you need what? Vacation. <laughs> vacation. <laughs> I maybe end up in a staycation too. <laughs> yeah, if she's All right. nagging. All right. Have you ever felt overcrowded by your partner and need some breathing space? That's what we um, ever need for my relationship flow. No, you know, you know, I can't say. Yeah. Personally, yeah. I can't say I've ever really felt overcrowded. It wasn't so much overcrowded that I felt. No, I've never felt overcrowded. But there are times when, and it's hardly ever, but there are times when I don't mind being by myself a little bit. Mm-hmm. Not for very long. You know, just chill with her on my phone, WhatsApp, or watching something on my phone, or just internalizing stuff and thinking you know you don't really want the person hands and gloves in you up all the time Mm -hmm. i don't think anybody really really wants that Mm -hmm. that might make you feel a little bit overwhelmed but all in all being around the person is quite okay Mm -hmm. i don't feel tired of them i don't feel flustered i don't feel like they're overcrowding me i've never felt that in in any relationship Uh, i never felt that way in um my um, relationship with my ex-wife, mm-hmm. right? Because me have all the time, and she wasn't that nagging type of person. Mm-hmm. And me have all the time, fi just go out, chill out, come in back when me want to come in, and mm-hmm. no argument about it and stuff like that. You get me? Me can't take the nagging type of people them in a me ears <laughs> a person and me ears more on the relationship just with understanding and trust. You get me? Because if you can't trust me, and I can't trust you, relationship going to be rocky. Uh-huh. So as long as you can't trust me, I can't trust you. I may have time to go out. You get me, I say? Just breathing space, my one. A mm-hmm. little bit of breathing space. You get me, I say? Because the end of the day, I'm coming back home, and there are going to be nights, and there are going to be days mm-hmm. where we together and do things together. But so your breathing me space time. is to... Go, be able to go out and chill if you want to go out and chill, chill for a while. Chill with people that me know. And okay. then there, and if you I don't want to be in the house with her all the time. No. Go on, so. No. Matter really, how sexy she be. Relationship are boring. Oh. Yeah. But you do fun things together, no? How much fun thing? You, you, can, you have games you can play. You can dance together. You can put a pole in the house, give her and put her, give her some sense of sexy lingerie. How much, how much, how much day, right, in a year? Uh, 365? Right. And a quarter? <laughs> right. Mm-hmm. You get me, I say? Yeah. So, if me can spend, say, for instance... A day each week or two. Or some evenings. A two day out. Mm-hmm. At least seven days a week. Yeah. That should be all I right. I'm out. Right? Uh-huh. And me and I have the next five. So you don't want to call calling and say, what are you doing? No, Come home. No. But is that, is that deep love for you? Yes. No, me don't want you to call, call me, but miss, if I don't come home, no, me not. But no. she misses you. Listen to What's me. What's wrong with you? Listen to me, right? She misses you. She can't call me and say, honey, I love you. Uh-huh. Hope all is fine. Hope everything's safe. Yes. See you later, sweetie. What's what, what wrong with that? But she's home alone. She's, I'm so all, you can't I'm me and nag, nag me, I'm a friend. I'm so lost fun. without you. Yeah. 
Me I out to have fun. Me know what you call me and I nag, 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 nag me. You're not coming home. You're not coming home. Every 10 minutes you call me, you're not coming home. I'm lying when the hell alone come out house for? with my head on the phone. This is the nagging thing where we are talking about. Thinking of you till it hurts. Oh, my head hurting me. <laughs> yeah. So you don't want to call, call every minute. And I want you to come Clear. home, come home, come home. Clear. Let me tell you something about relationship. And you see... When you're in a relationship, you have to have space in the relationship. Mm-hmm. If you don't have space in the, space in the relationship, the relationship, right, going to be stagnant. So tell me something. Why you can't come home and go in a different room in the house while well, I mean I want a different room? That isn't yeah. that space? Yeah. But the, the, why the hell am I in a, a next room with my wife in a one room? I mean no, ma, you room. want space, my you. Yeah. So take your space. In go the in the room downstairs. In the house? The, yes. I'm not tired of the house. I don't want to catch you call the house. Okay. So if she want to go with her friend, that's all right too? Yeah. You sure? Because I trust her. Okay. All right. Me trust and her. And she can do something nice and sexy right? and go And out. if she, me trust her. Okay. All right? And if she have trust and confidence in her fear herself. Mm-hmm. That's fine. Okay. You get me I say? If all she right. want to go out, they go cheat, you know? Right? And do what she do, you know? I mean, you know, you know? Me just don't know. Mm-hmm. But as long as me find out, it's going to be a problem. Okay, sir. All right, yeah. sir. <laughs> Simple as that. All right, let's see what the text messages are saying. Um, picture frame locked in. All right, checked in. We shot you up earlier in a picture frame. You missed that one. All right. Um, good night. Well, new Clarendon. We still don't know where new Clarendon is or NW Clarendon. All right, we want to know where that is. Let's see who else is on set. <clears throat> Lady Cleo, my son. Oh, Lord. Let's see what is before that one. I'm, oh, J- Javine is with me. Thank you. Just locked in on FB. All right. Um, Lady Cleo, my son, so every time him see you, you look utter. <laughs> oh, what is the son, the boy? That boy is about nine or so. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Cleo, careful. Where's that one? Are the bone you give? Oh, Lord. It was with cheese. I gave, I made sure to give cheese with it. Okay, so it wasn't all that bad at all. Um, big ups to all our friends who are locking in. Sadie says, "Prestige, you is a sensible man, and you are said the things that me do. I wish all man was like you. Big space, me say, and no nagging. <laughs> you know that men nag women too, right?" Some of you men can be nagging too. And by the way, when a woman is making noise about something, I want to call it nagging, Cassidy, and prestige. We not it's nag. because, oh, you mean, no, no, no. Hold just on. The thing just it's like, oh, because, it is. oh, no, no, dealing with that. an issue that the woman has a problem with. Yeah. If you are smart enough to stop and deal with the, the issue at hand, then when you resolve it like a real, real big man thing Mm. and come to some amicable solution Mm. to the problem Mm. then the woman will just decide okay now he has given me some redress and comfort i can now leave this issue alone no and it's him not and and it doesn't reoc it doesn't reoccur it doesn't redo it or it doesn't reoccur then i can leave it alone but when you don't deal with the problem and when the woman is saying the one thing over and over and over and over again because when you're not here Uno turn on, oh, we can't take the noggin, 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 noggin. No woman just get up and just nag, 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 just suffering nothing at all. No, you see the thing about right, it. Right, ladies? You see the thing about it? Mm-hmm. Eh? We as men, we just come straight forward and tell her the things just like how it is, right? You want us to speak your speak and talk your talk. You what get you mean? me? Yeah. No. I just say so you want if you go. You want it to straighten out this way. And I say to you, sweetie, we are going to do it this way. And we can do it this way, right? But let us do it tomorrow, right? When tomorrow come, I say, hear me now, honey. Listen up. I got caught up today at work. I have to work overtime. I want you to have a little understanding towards that. But that's clear. Yes, and X, Y, Z. She come. Tomorrow, the next day, come now, she start nag me. Before and me even come in, he in my ears that, you know, So why you say you not do the thing and you not do the thing? I'm not nagging that. But we upon me again now if you tell you what is the problem, you know. Me not find no excuse. I'm not no nagging that. You That's just complaining about the problem. Right? You just relax, back man. Nagging is when relax. she constantly over and over no. every day in your no. ears. No, no, you relax and wait until me do the thing. Cause I got done. I know nothing where 
it has to be done no, now. No, but it's not to you, maybe it's not important, but to her it is. So you have to strike a compromise right there. You have to know when to compromise and say, okay, honey, I know this is important to you. And if a woman come and say Anything to you, is important to she in our, our relationship, it is important to me too. Yeah, it should be. Yes. It should be. But if a woman comes to complain about one issue mm -hmm. and say, oh, oh, oh you see, you're going to go to the bank today and they would think you're going to do it. Yeah. That's not nagging. No. That's not nagging. But, but listen up. Uh -huh. We have deadline for the way we have to do. And it's not anything have to do today or mm -hmm. tomorrow and the next day. It have to be next week, right? Master, in the next week before you're everything too, kicks in, too right? Strict. So, you're too strict. Just wait. <laughs> and not come and just in my skin, in my skin, in my skin like ticks. That is not, that is not nagging. That's what that I'm saying. not nagging. Let's go back to the WhatsApp, the, the Vox Pop, um, Cassidy. Richie in Highgate, St. Mary, big ups to you. All right. Big ups every time and all the Highgate peeps who are listening in. All right. So, lovers need a holiday, they say. And we want to know if you've ever been overwhelmed by your partner. So please feel free to call us on the local line, 876-453-1444. And overseas, it's 954-338-7973. Share with us if you've ever felt like you need some breathing space. Do you have a partner, whether male or female, that, you know, if, if, if your partner is male or your partner is female, do you ever feel like you need some breathing space, like you suffocate? Yeah, you can't get some time to just do things on your own, to go shopping on your own. You know, to, to, to go with your friends on your own, They're just in your skin. All right, we are going to invite you to call us right after the break. It's now 10 o'clock. The time is brought to us by VJ Printing Services, and Real Talk is sponsored by Native Audio Stage and Lighting. Make sure you stay with us, and we come back after the break. Architects, draftsmen and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high quality white paper printing that is water resistant and never fades unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at Eight nine three two two six six. Good day, driver. You notice that you're parking in a no parking zone. You know, so you can get a ticket for this, sir. Really, officer? But just want to pick up some hardware supplies, you know. Do me a beg you. Give me a blind, huh? So if you need hardware supplies, why you don't go to Ramtula Supercenter and hardware? Ramtula Supercenter and Hardware, 34 Folly Road, Port Antonio, Portland. We stock a wide range of products at the best prices in town. At Ramtula's Hardware, experience the three C's. Comfort, competitive prices, and convenience. Ramtula Supercenter and hardware opens 8 a.m. to midnight seven days per week call 715-5132 email ramtula supercenter at gmail.com remember we have the best prices in town business operators local and overseas this announcement is for you. Styles FM is an internationally known radio network with worldwide listeners in over 120 countries. From our studio in Port Antonio, Jamaica, to the ears of the people in your community, our listeners can be your new customers. Styles FM is an economical, efficient, and effective advertising option for your business. No matter the size of your business, there's always growth potential. Styles FM provides the customer reach needed to realize that upward movement. So procrastinate no more. Advertising is a must. For more details on how to advertise with Styles FM, visit www.stylesfm.com or email info at stylesfm.com or call us on 876-518-2399. Styles FM, the world listens. Remember Styles FM on social media. View us on YouTube at Styles FM Radio. Follow us on Instagram at Styles FM. Like us on Twitter at Styles FM 961. Become a fan on Facebook. 
Styles FM 96.1. Are you sick of living an average life and tired of just getting by? Do you want to take your life to the next level? Learn the secrets of the super successful. Listen to Power in a Half Hour with Coach Mark this and every Wednesday night on Styles FM from 9 to 10 p.m. Learn the habits of the super successful and how to make these habits work for you. Learn to turn your dreams and desires into reality. You can win in the game of life. Let Coach Mark show Show you how every Wednesday night on Styles FM from 9 to 10 p.m. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, now offering stage, lighting, and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party, or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. Well, 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 well. Let me do it like Lady Cleo, eh? <laughs> yeah, we are back. And this is the program we call Real Talk. And this is the way we do it each and every Friday night. DJ Prestige sitting in with Lady Cleo. Yeah, that is rude upon vacation. <laughs> Take vacation early. <laughs> all right, so hey, we Clayton, you heard what Clayton yeah, said. Clayton Clayton said you want bun because if you want to give her, if you want all that space, the, you must be inviting some bun inside there, listen, right? Clayton, yeah, no. you, you, you can't. Both both lady knocking and people don't have, want time to go out by himself and all these things. People don't have relationship like that anymore that they have trust in a relationship. That not anymore in a relationship. If you give a woman a little space, that simply means you invite someone else to come in, little. Yeah. Liquor? Your Space. Cost, your acquires a shit nagging, nagging, nagging. Yeah. Your I don't want no woman up on the knee 24 hours. I don't mean want up on the knee no woman 24 you don't? hours. More and give them space. Oh. So if they decide, say, wow. they don't trust me, I am I not trust them, and then I have confidence in a relationship, our relationship, right? Mm. And have that trust in our relationship, it's fine with her. Fine. What if I fish out there in the water? Oh, yeah, sir. It's fine. Okay, yeah. sir. So relationship be of trust, uh-huh. right? And if you don't have trust in a relationship, it makes no sense to you. It don't make any sense. All right, sorry, right? Talk. Me can't send my girlfriend on a trip if she want to go on a trip, and my wife on a trip, and say, go ahead and have fun with your girlfriend them. Mm-hmm. What, what me I worry myself about? Is if she want go there, if she want go there, if you go go do what she have want to do, me can't stop her. Real talk. Cause me not go there for black nothing. I mean, yeah, I have yeah. them the body parts every black anything. <laughs> you get me? Uh, so she can go the way she wants to do if you choose to do that. Right? All right, sir. You know? But you cannot have a relationship, Lady Cleo, right? And you have a relationship. And every day is the same thing over and over and over and over. Right? Me not have a little time for myself. She do not have a little time for herself. You get me? With it, she and her girlfriend. Them. You get and, me? And all these yeah. Things. And the relationship does get stagnant. Mm-hmm. You get me? I say, her girlfriend call her and then upon the phone every she minute, can. I talk, talk, talk. And she me can't want her. Yeah, yeah, me don't want their own every 24 7. She's upon, yes, girl, yes, girl, and way, way, way. Mm-hmm. But me cannot get for go to know because, you know, Louis say I'm not going anywhere and, you know, me can't go. There. No. Mm-hmm. Tonight, go out and have fun with your girlfriend. Tomorrow night, maybe we got a phone with my bridge in there. We have a the time. Uh-huh. You know? Real talk. So, what you call space? How much space are you talking about? <laughs> and a long time. We <laughs> can't give her one hour. If one space, hour for the what? You know? can't give her one hour if a space and she can't go do that in, in space at 10 minutes. Okay. What she want okay. to do? Got you. Got yeah. you. Okay, sir. You see what I mean? All we right. need space in our relationship, Real man. Talk. Let me think. You know? O'Neill Big says, I need more than breathing space. No, Cleo. <laughs> what you want? Huh? O'Neill, I'm going through the same issue, he says, my brother. So you are 100% right on. All right. We acknowledge our friends on our Facebook Live connection as well. Nicolette Gordon, Camille, Mealy, Camille, Mealy. All right, Devoy, we see you as well. Mm. And Alex, Alexander, Alexander, Taylor, is it Taylor? Locked in as well on the Facebook Live connection. Who else we have there? Tamara Ferron Campbell, Vanessa Jacobs, Moyen, Moyen, Moyen Williams joined in. Sashley Smith, we see y'all, yeah? Tanette, so blessed. Robinson, Paul Harris, 
Clayton, Leanne Watson joined in. Big up yourself, shell, shell, shells. The boy also. All right. So we go back Cl to the Vox Pop. Yes. Yeah. Mm. And we're looking at the other part to it because yeah. Prestige is um, affirmatively saying, look here, man, we need space. Yeah, man. You need space mm. in your relationship. Mm. Give the woman space. Men, men, women give the men space. Because what do you really think, Cleo? Mm. I agree with you, man. Yeah. I agree with you. Because what I know for sure yeah. is if this woman or if that man decides that he or she is going to give it up, mm -hmm. there is absolutely nothing you can do to stop it. Uh, you could have watched and watched and watched and peeped till the kingdom come. They're going to find their ways and means right. of getting their groove on if they want right. to get their right. groove on. So the watch and peep thing just really, really doesn't work. Mm. Yeah? All right. Let's see who else is on our text, uh, WhatsApp texting. Pool boss, check in. All right. Big up yourself. Anyone cheat is a problem, Peter says. But some people have to cheat no matter what he or she um, has at home. So he or she will find something to justify their actions. Yeah. If they really want to, they are going to. Yeah. Bottom line. Yeah. And you can't do nothing about Not it. Either. All right. Yeah. I'm a female and I agree with the man, Crystal Tomlinson. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. all right, need space. Some female not have no need space, you know. For do they want for do you know. Yeah, they, they create their own space, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Me well, as a man not have to give them no space, you know. Okay, I would come together and own. say, you know, them create their own space, you know. All right, pool boss says <laughs> space can be dangerous in a relationship. You see, you see, it, it, it comes with um yeah. Dif variations. Yes. When we talk about space, we use the term widely, yes. Mm -hmm. But as it relates to what Prestige was explaining, I can understand that you need time, me time. Mm -hmm. And you need, so you have we time, mm -hmm. but she or he also needs some me time. Mm -hmm. And if the person is even at work, for the few hours they're away at work, you're really not going to call them 24 7 same way neither. Mm -hmm. You're not going to be calling every half hour every 20 minutes and there are men out there mm. who oh my goodness the women are literally suffocating because mm. they want to ensure that they have a, a nip on every single or they try tracking device man yes, tracking device them a a nip woman on them. every move yeah, that this woman makes yeah, man. and the woman over time even if she, even if she loves the man or she enjoys being with him over time she's gonna become so fed up Make the, the relationship the miserable. Make the relationship miserable. Yeah. And a man too. He wants. It says there's a saying, an old adage that says, Likewise, "Absence you know. makes the heart grow fonder." Likewise, fonder. women like that too. Yeah, man. I, I think you have women stay so, but I think you have more men who stay so. Eh? Women will call, call. Where you there? Eh. You know, come on. I'm if you tell you about them nagging thing there. But I, I know that there are men eh. who, if you go to the supermarket. Mm -hmm. Man, I give you, man, man, them I give you time, man. I time them I give you. to come back. Yeah, them are the pan for your call, call, call you like the woman. We're not the pan that. The woman will more call, I think, but the men will, you no, sir. So. You say, Junior, you know, say, I go to a store, go buy something. Okay, soon come back, babe. You say, yeah. And uh, if you don't come back, about 15 hour, minutes. Call you. Yeah, 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 this strategy. About 15 minutes, uh, 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 half an hour. Because I may have something for you, you know, me and you know. You get me? You know, I have not a damn thing to do. <laughs> in my you get me? But me have something to do because he just don't want to have to go out there go, go do, spend more than that. You get yes, me? Yes, yes. Right? Uh, well, let's would, call it prestige. Yeah. We have um, somebody said that they were calling and they weren't getting through. We invite you to call right back, my dear. Mm -hmm. All right. So please feel free to call us back on the local line or the international line. All right. Thank you. Yeah. 876 yes. 453 1444. Yes. Yeah. You know, and, and this clear. Mm. You see, in our relationship, you know, right? And me can't talk from experience. Yes. You know? Even though <laughs> me I was twenty six, but me can't Which talk from right. experience. You know see it, you know? Yes. Yeah, because I was in a relationship for twenty years. 26 going 62. Right. Caller no, no, coming right back. <laughs> <laughs> so, we don't do what you do, calculate Good night, nice caller. Welcome to Real Talk. 
Hello, good night, my Hi, hey, the boy. How are you doing, my African friend? I am here. I am here. I am here. Good to hear you. How is Africa? We, we it is very very warm. Is very You're very very warm there. Yes, yes. It is That's very, good very to warm. know. Yes. And uh, what's your take I tonight am, on the topic? Ah, uh, I, I I I have been through so much suffocation that I cannot even talk. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's hear about those African women now, yes. They, they, they are very, very defensive of their man, yeah? They're very, very what? Defensive. They are very defensive of their man. Oh, very, very defensive of, yeah. of their man. All right. But we don't want to be suffocated for too long. Right. Yes. When we get suffocated and we get the freedom, we go in the jungle and we find another girl. And you abuse it or you're unleashed. Yes. Okay. So we so they have to learn to let loose. Okay. I hear a pastor say to tell he, the pastor getting somebody married and he said to the wife, if you ever feel it is okay to lock shop, you have to remember <laughs> that there are a lot of supermarkets out there. <laughs> no. If you ever feel um, the need to lock shop, there are many supermarkets out there. Yes. I like that. So with that said, yes, yeah, I when when the ladies want to lock us down, we cannot go to the party, we cannot go to play pool with our friends and they are not there clinging on your side. We and we can only say whenever we get away, yes. we are going to play. So all hell breaks loose when you get away. When we get away we are going to play. Oh, okay. When you get no, away, they're going to play. <laughs> my brother, my brother Prestige said something that we, we, we men love. Yeah. Okay? Wow. We, we love to know that sometimes we need to be free, but respect for everybody in the relationship is key. Yes. yes. So if you don't trust me, yeah. then I can't trust you. Yeah. Because there must be a reason why you don't trust me, so therefore I'm going to use that reason not to trust you too. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so why, so, why, why, while there is trust, there is no play. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Really now. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> while there is trust with 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 each other, uh-huh. there is no playing. Oh please. So we're not going to go yeah. in those supermarkets. We are not going to go. A lot of a lot of times. <laughs> Them go see, we're not going same way. Whether in Africa, Jamaica, the states, UK, we're not going the same way. No, but the thing is, you know, yeah. Yeah. Whenever, whenever we respect the woman to that level, yeah. most of the times it's the woman that push us to go do what we do, and yeah. we push the Stop woman. Stop telling life on women. How it is that you and the woman have such great trust and love for each other, and you're telling me that most of the time it's the woman push. You know that there are some no, no, women who don't push the men to go nowhere, and they're still gone? And everything greater, yard, she not nag. Yeah, she give him space, and he still goes out there and just carries on. You know that, though? Kelis. Those are Kelis, man. Those, Kelis, those, man, them there. Man. All right, so. Yeah, those are Kelis, man. We are okay. not Kelis, man. Yes. We have been <laughs> through so much with different women, and we never, ever compare them to the, to the previous ones. Yeah? So some of the time, some of the time when the women do their stuff and the men do their stuff, uh-huh. it's just that they were not supposed to be together. Just let it be. And let it go. Okay, sir. Yes. Real talk. Yes. Yes. <laughs> All right, Mr. Nigeria. Catch you. Big up yourself. Big up yourself every time. Big up yourself every time. Fanfusion. Yes. All right, sir. Fan fan fusion. fusion, July 13. Yes. yes, I am coming down for Fanfusion. Which is great. Excellent. B- bring, bring a girl for, for prestige. Bring some of your African yes, girls I, for me. Some. Afri- okay, I will find one for you, my brother. Bring <laughs> some. Bring some. Some. <laughs> some. some. So you can manage some. <laughs> All right, the boy, thanks for calling. All right. All right. All right. Sadie says, Cleo, what the man say, woman, a string on man's side? Me can't bother. Me a laugh too loud like me mad. <laughs> Keep it going. Mango Tree Crew, yeah. Carleen, Mommy, Russian, Zippy, Ziggy rather, Gorilla. Oh, Lord Jesus. Yeah. It's a gorilla in the midst, too. Yeah. Crusher, Five, Doreen, Nazi, Tamika, Singing Francis, Ghetto Boss, um, Skia, um, Sikia, Sikia. Oh, Lord, these names. Dil, is that Dildo? Or Dildil? Oh, sorry. Dildil. 
Mango Tree Crew locked in. All right. Big up yourself. <laughs> that look like yeah, is the hype fans of stars. I yeah. tell you, boy. Mm. Uh. All right. So we invite 331. Okay, 331 did call back. Annette from Soho, St. Thomas. Hey, Annette. I wonder if I know Annette. Finally, I am looking at Prestige for the first time. Good night to you both. Very interesting topic. Breeding space is a must. Yeah. Who said that? Yeah. Annette from oh, Soho Annette. in St. Thomas. Yeah. Big, Big up, up to the Annette Soho Massive and Crew. Yeah. My mommy lives in Whitehall, by the way. Mm. Annette, you might know her. Janet. Yep. She lives at Whitegate there. Yeah, mm -hmm. man. All right. So, Kimoy, bless up yourself. Lady Clear and Prestige, you too. He's calling, well, texting in from Sunning Hill in St. Thomas. Locked in to Real Talk. Kimo is always locked in, yeah? Avid listener, avid listener to stars. I want you all to be planning for your fan fusion, you know. The, 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 the armbands are here. Um, the, the, the special ones, the VIP ones, mm -hmm. the limited edition. So please, please, please feel free to call in um, as the weeks and the days go by and get your things sorted out. We want the bus loads and the car loads and the truck loads to be rolling out. And the plane loads. Fusion, yeah, and the plane loads. Mm. Yeah, it's tropically elegant attire. Mm. So sort out your fan fusion and think from now a big people party. Early, early, it starts at 7 o'clock. You can get to go back home or go wherever else you want to go afterwards. Mm. But fan fusion is a must. 2019 Bayview Waterfront Property, July 13. Mm. That's the Saturday. Make mm. it a date. You can't afford to be late. Drinking, All right. Drinking, drinking, Drink masquerade. Oh, dr oh, drunken masquerade drunken is masquerade. the theme. Yeah. So, you know, you can do your thing and mm. come disguised and all these things if yeah. you want to yeah man mm. yeah mm. kimoy we see you rolling oh saint thomas are rolled out in large number and that my one ear all right that we want air baby girl good night to you she says to you both everyone need to get breathing space coming from baby girl yeah. all right thank you so much mm. so we go back to the um Vox Pop mm -hmm. and see the other part of this prestige. Yes, you want to share that part with them? Mm? How much room? How much what? Room? Yeah, do you think? How much room do you think you and your partner should allow each other to have? Or do you think having them on a leash is best? So you keep them at bay. A whole lot thought. We have a caller on the 453. Good night, caller. Welcome to Real Talk. Yes, that's how it goes sometimes, though. But we're glad you're getting through now. Uh, welcome to the show. What's your take on the topic? Is the topic the Vox Pop. The Vox Pop. Yes, man. The same thing I'm talking. So do you think that you have ever felt overwhelmed by your partner? With them not getting enough space? You want more space? <laughs> I'm not hearing um, clearly at all. Um, is it Shelly? Yes, Shelly! Yes, Look here, no man. You call upon regular phone and, and stop sounding sound like strange girl. Lord God! <laughs> so, may I talk to you like a stranger? Yeah, me know. Because so I couldn't hear, I couldn't hear the voice so clearly. All right, so let us hear your thing now, shells on this one. Who uh, uh, tell clear say I'm me, man? Me pick up say you, me, me ears them good. Yeah, after a while, me pick up. Me um, me no, me say me should use my brother Carlin because, so anyway. Uh mm huh. -hmm. Me overwhelmed by people, period. <laughs> so, <laughs> and that is a sickness, me think. Besides Are you antisocial? Uh, yes, yes and no. But me find one diagnosis for it. Me go WhatsApp it too, no, and I can see what it is. All right. So find out say, it looks like it's a real condition where people and the excitement to everybody get out. I have to be everywhere all the time, and something is not for me. No, mm -hmm. my deal now. That's why I'm going to live where the family live. Because me live far enough for them to take me to come look for me. I hope that I'm family then now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but me live far enough when I have to take me to come look for me. So yes. I come and spend one weekend and then go back. Just I come in a like people, y'all. Yeah. They easily feel overwhelmed by people. Okay. And something where I have to go break out of. 
I know. <laughs> because that will limit your limit limit the, the thought of you getting married. That's what I'm saying. If God forbid <laughs> somebody should ask me that I like you know, but I said yes, let's go kinda of break out of that thing there with me. Yeah, because the two are going to become one. So yes, you're going to give him no, no, space because no, 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 you're going to live together. No, clear. Clear? Uh -huh. Come which one? Who said that? So when you're married to the man, he's going to be there most of the time. You're going to be living together, no? Yeah, but, but they, yes, but they become one. Not, I know, no. I mean, I oh, no, become one. Well, you want to become pizza? No, no. We are, yes, we are still your one in this video. Uh, I'm mean, not playing or something there. Okay, I'm mama. I'm married. I'm going to write my own vows. I'm okay, mama. Or two becomes one. Anyway, um, I'm easily overwhelmed. Uh -huh. And um, but I'm not mean and unkind and 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 I'm not selfish and things like that. So I wouldn't make anybody feel uncomfortable in my face. Okay. But I'm just generally that person who loves my space. Now, okay. That's the differentiate between space and space. Right. Uh, some people want their space because they have nothing good to do. Um, so they want their time. They don't want anybody in their space because they want to have their free time to go and do do anything they want to do. Doing. Okay. Right? And I can't sit through that. If I am to be in a relationship where it's a solid relationship and then this person decide that we're going to go places with it, uh -huh. then nobody, nobody should be needing space. <laughs> Prestige, huh? Need, nobody should need space. If somebody needs space in a relationship, that's not a relationship. What? They cannot need. Hmm? What? Well, you can't in a relationship. Shelly, you, you can't in a relationship. I always say space. I am the type of person when me know say well, me, 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 me go go play that me know a weekend time. Remember, Bridget, the man in the career there. Right? And you go tell me, say, no, me can't go play that me know none at all. Me have to no, home as me don't work. Prestige, don't misunderstand what I'm saying. That's not space. That's just you being you. We're talking about somebody needing space. Me and you can't say we're in a relationship and live together. You tell me say you would need your space. No. That means a relationship done. Uh, that, that, if you ever need space, you are not in a relationship and you must not agree to be in a relationship with somebody if you if you think you're going to be needing your space, if you are one of them people who love your space. Uh, uh, no, 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 but we are talking but we are talking about space in general, you know. Shelly. When we say space, no, you know. With me, no, me can't. in general we're talking about we're not just talking no, about no, no. me ever tell you say me need space because you yeah, never rather listen then because initially when I started talking, I mm. said yeah. that you have space and you have space. Mm. I'm not talking about the space where me you want to hang out with my girlfriend, them and go have with girls. No, that's the one where that's, that's the one he's referring to. to though. That's the one we are referring to. The other that's space right. where yeah. boy something go wrong and me just need to breathe. breathe off. Off and that's a different, that's space. different space. To me, that's a space where I say, look, this yeah. is over. Yeah. Right. So, so me need some space so now to no, get me head together. He's not I know talking that about talking that about. one. He's talking about no. the one where you're overwhelmed. In the, you're in the same no, house. No. You live together, yes, or yeah. if you even live apart from each other, but you're always in the person's face. Face. Yeah. That's the space we're talking about. Me not done enough. That's why me say you have space. Have okay. Space. All yeah. right. Space where you're in a relationship, and this person said they need space. Mm -hmm. Then that this is not a relationship, and it needs to be over. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. So let me talk about prestige space now. Yeah. Let me talk about meaning to own a relationship and you meet the man and the man used to go play him football and hang out with him, friend him and play him damn in no. Yeah. And every, every month, he likes to probably go yeah. somewhere and go hang out and do whatever. All of a sudden, for me and him get together now, he can't do that no more. Yes. All that is over. Yeah. And you are going to play football with him and follow him with him, friend him, and he just can't breathe. Yes. He want to have a conversation on him phone. And there's you hanging over him shoulder, you sit down beside him, and you start... Yeah, cock your ears. Because he can't have no privacy with right. his own devices and something. If him have him own little man cave, and him in a for one hour or two hours, you don't know the man back away in here and do them kind of something. Right. No. That's the other space me talk right. about. Right. No, when you, when you start to do me them something, then, then the relationship done too. <laughs> the <laughs> no, relationship... It's not going to work. <laughs> Because then you you become a prisoner of mm -hmm. a relationship, yes. a prisoner yeah. of the person who wants to, to forever be overcrowding and forever breathing down your neck and be in your space. And people who usually do that, 
is insecure yeah. and narcissistic and they are jealous and everything else that you can think of and that's the reason why they just want to overwhelm you to ensure that they know your every move and everything that you're doing because they don't want to lose you mm -hmm. so that is something that can be worked on yeah, if a relationship like that. Good communication skills. If not, it's best to get out of a relationship like that. Yeah, because a relationship yes, like that becomes stagnant. Yes, toxic. So toxic. toxic indeed. Toxic too. Yeah. So everybody has to have their own space because that's how you, you, you rejuvenate and re energize and all that when you get your own time to do your own thing in your own space because everybody is an individual. And we tend to lose that sometimes yeah. when we think about relationships and forgot that we were somebody before the other person come on board. Sure. You know what I'm so, Yes, because you're not having a little miserable sp um, 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 period, the miserable period where we need space from that. <laughs> That's not true. Sound, go to the break. You know, that's why I <laughs> say my wife message. Tell me to the one-year response. Anyway, I'm not going to say that. All right, Shells. Shells, if you go to the break. Thank you so much, girlfriend. Child. All right, we're here from <laughs> Kevin in Tampa, Florida. <laughs> my grandfather built two houses. Mm. Sometime this, we don't see him, but we know where he is at. Mm. All right. I wonder what he's there doing by himself. Mm. Kevin. Mm. All right, 843 says too much space is not good for relationship. Trust is the best. Mm -hmm. mm. Then for you have trust in the relationship and you want space, we are worried yourself about. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> you don't worry yourself about nothing. Oh, I, you get hear, me I hear you. Yeah. Because if you have trust in the relationship and you know, say, in a relationship for 21 years, 22, 23 years, uh -huh. 30 years, right? And you have trust in the relationship. And you realize why you're the woman who you just know, start getting miserable up, miserable up. No space is not there. Everything just clust up. So you come home at evening time, you know, same face. Same thing every day. Mm. You know, go out at weekend time, same thing. You know, there is so much we can do still in our life. You know, you get me, I say? Yep. This vacation, vacation, this, this party, this party, this. You see what I say? Sometimes... You need to mingle, and me need to mingle. You get me, I say? If I with your family member, them, you get me, I say? And me with my friend, them, or you have a girlfriend where you can go out and have some time with. That's not a problem. Mm -hmm. As long as trust in the relationship, and we've been going for 30 years. Some of the time, certain little things we tired of too, in our relationship too. So we have to go to go, go drink some coffee. You get me? Instead of the mint tea, mint tea every day too. Yeah, Let's so it goes to some time too. Real talk. Yeah. Let's see some of the posts on the Facebook, the Facebook Live connection. Um, Taraj, Taraj Richardson says, Blessings to you, brother and sister. Love, peace, and respect. Pick up yourself too. And the family over there in St. Martin. All right. Mm. And who else do we have? Hmm. All right. That's it for now. We have got the others earlier. Um, Carlene Aiken also locked in on the Facebook Live. Trisha Fuller. Good night to you too, Trisha. All right. Um, we go to a break. It's now 10.30. The time is brought to us by VJ Printing Services. And Real Talk is sponsored by Native Audio Stage and Lighting. Stick around. More Real Talk when we come back. Architects, draftsmen and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high quality white paper printing that is water resistant and never fades unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 893-2266 Planning a party? Club night out? Stage show? A gospel concert? Or even a business sales event? Let Styles FM be a part of your promoting tool. Take advantage of our low price promotion packages with commercials, interviews, giveaways, reviews and much more. We have special offers when you mix and match and bundle your options. Contact us at 876-286-9216 or 439-5160. Styles FM for the most effective way to exploit your marketing dollar. Don't miss the adrenaline rush. 
with the musical ingenious digital team. Saturdays, right here on Styles FM from 4 to 8 p.m. Remember the uprising artists and new music segment from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. Also, mix journal hour from 6 to 7 p.m. And the party hour from 7 to 8 p.m. Come, Styles FM. Digital tea. Our brain. Look, man. Robinson and Sons Hardware, located at 18 West Palm Avenue, Port Antonio, Portland, has new items in stock. We specialize in steel power tools like chainsaws and weed whackers. Parts and accessories are available. Water heaters, water pumps, instant water heaters, water tanks, electrical items, cut glass, sponges, extension ladders, windows and doors, repairs PVC and aluminum windows, kitchenware, toilet fixtures and fittings, bifold closet doors, generators, energy saving LED floodlights lights and dust to dawn lamps, lawnmowers and decorate roofing. Telephone us at 876-993-9763, 876-277-1801 or 876-715-1724. Robinson and Sons, we are always here to serve you. Take us to work, take us on a go, take us wherever you go. Styles FM. Take Styles FM with you on the go. The number for USA, 213-992-4360. That's 213-992-4360. And for the United Kingdom, 033-0010-3322. That's 033-0010-3322. Styles FM. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, now offering stage, lighting, and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party, or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. Welcome back to Real Talk, the show where we discuss everything real and nothing ideal. Yes, we're talking about whether you've ever felt you've ever felt overwhelmed by your partner. You know, you needed some space. You need to breathe and you can't seem to breathe. That's what we're talking about. We do have Shells back online with us, Shelly. I'm not hearing. Hold on there, um, Shelly. Not hearing you at all. Um, okay. sort that one out for me. Yes, go ahead, Charles. Okay, you got three part to the question uh, to the to the vox pop. So yes, let me see if I can respond. Um, before I respond to the second part, though, just to say that if you know, like, you must be in tune with who you are, and if you know that you're a person who, like, I recently was talking to somebody and a gentleman divorced. Yes. And he's saying that he's not going to remarry and he's not certain if he's going to live with anybody else again for right now. Yes. Because he just loves his peace and he likes the feeling of being alone in his house and doing whatever. So if you know you're that kind of person, don't get into a relationship with someone. True, true. Knowing that. They have differences. You're going to have differences. Yes. Because relationships are confining, you know. When you live by yourself, you can get up. Right now, it's me want to get up and me go down the road. Any amount of time in the night or morning, me want to go and do with me and do. I don't have to say nothing to nobody, say, hey, look here. Or, you know, let the person know that I'm leaving out of the house to go somewhere. Yes. When you're living with somebody, it is respectful of you True. to inform the person that, hey, listen, I'm going to go down the road. I, I may be a hour or two or something like that. A very you. valid point, Shelley. Very, very valid point. Because so, you, you know, find that people do it for real. They just do what they want to do when they're with somebody. Both right. male and female do it, and it's, it that can't work for you. No, if you're in a if you're in a relationship, it cannot work. Yeah, respect you, man. You won't have any respect. You Real won't talk. have any trust. You won't have nothing but negative ne negativity. Comes and then you might just all be there just for sex. Just for all right, and and whatever else comes from it. Yeah, whatever other benefits you get in. So before you go shack up and live with somebody, or get married to somebody, or, or have children with somebody, just ensure that you are in that frame of mind. True. Of settling down and, and getting and having somebody else in your space. And right. knowing too that this person's differences might just me can't bother with her sometime. Me can't yes. bother with him sometime. When him do this or when she do that. But yes. beyond that, you're still able to love and respect each other. You know, you can yes. deal with the person's little 
glitches and faults and so on. You have to be at that place with you. If you're not there, yes. you're going to become Please so frustrated yes, with simple minor person. things. That is true, you know, mash up relationship. Yep. Um, how much per how much room I think a person needs. Yes. Um, how much person should you see it said allow. I may have a problem with it allow. Mm -hmm. Allow so like me a prisoner. Oh yeah, me I give you permission. Yes, I like I have to get permission. Uh huh. Me meet you and it's what we decide to go in a relationship. Set your boundaries at the end when you when the, when the relationship starts and it's when we decide that we have to live together and we are now a solid partner, set your boundaries. Yes. That when things start to happen, you would have already told the person that I will put up with certain kind of norms and behaviors. Real but therefore, allowing cannot come into it. Nobody can allow me to do anything. Yes. But as I said before, you must be respectful enough to know that some things are disrespectful to your partner and it will breed negative emotions and, and um, repercussions from it. Like just stepping out 12 o'clock at night, go, go about your business and I tell your woman, say, boy, you're deaf on the road. And, mm -hmm. you know, something like that just... just do not work. And so coming in after work. three every morning and it's not work you're coming from. All right. And you're not work somewhere. So yeah. allowing is not a good word for me. I wouldn't use it. But how many um, room I think the person need is as much room to be themselves. Yes. Right? Enough room to be yourself. So as I said before, if I know you and in the evenings you go to play um, football or basketball or whatever. I don't want to take that away from you. Right. So I will leave you to go on and play what it is you are playing. And if on the weekend, no one again, I mean, expect you to want to go out every, every weekend, every Friday and Saturday and Sunday, you're going on a road, going out with friends and them, something, no. But if you must be able to choose a weekend out of the month or something where you know, say, at your time, you want out your business or do what it is that you want to do, if you want to go party or whatever, if you want to go without me, that's fine. But when persons are in relationship, they have to be cognizant of the fact that you can just always want him to be hanging out with yourself and your friend. Well, well question right. on that note. What if the woman met the man and he, when she met him, she met him in the rum bar and he has been going to that rum bar five days or the seven days a week? How does he now, you know, how does she cope now with this when she knew before that this is the lifestyle? And then, when they're now living together, she's expecting a miracle. She expects to change him. And it's the same thing when you take up someone with certain kind of profession, like I'll write and so, work at night time. Right? <laughs> so, so, so is, it, is it okay to say, for some things, she should accept because she met him that way? Yes. And is it okay to say, for some things, the man whomever should know to readjust themselves because yeah. now you're with a woman, you can't right. be going to bar five days right. a week. Right. So it, it, it goes both ways, right? Right. You cannot nag him to change and the man can't mm. bully the woman to change either. Right. But some compromise must be struck. Somebody, you have to build something so that your action sometimes can be exemplary so that you can see that you are providing some kind of stability for him. Enough for him to see that you know, going to the rum bar five, night, five nights a week have a negative impact on, on what it is we are trying to build. And if you can't see that, then you have to go let him because remember, say, you meet him and rum bar. Right. And then, as you said, from the get go, analyze. Can I deal with a man who come in drunk every now? When I <laughs> met him, I met him at the rum bar mm -hmm. when we, we, we got our first kick going on. Mm. He was as drunk as a bat. And I see where, you know, when I do visit him every night, when him do come in, I we going in him drunk. Mm -hmm. You know, when I used to visit. And right. now that I'm living with him or I plan to live with him, mm -hmm. you know, our local place together, mm -hmm. do I expect this man to stop being drunk every night? You have to be realistic and analyze yeah. what it is that you're really getting into. Yeah, so what about right. it? What about it with, with, with me meet the young lady and she got church <laughs> five <laughs> nights a week. Praise Jesus. You get me, I say? You met her that way. Five <laughs> nights a week. You so, get me? So and you tell me, say, when she come in, she depends on all the praying, praying thing in her ears. See, but you met her that house. way. So, we have to just compromise in some form of way. Compromise with her prayer? So what happened to me with oh, my... Oh, Jesus. Maybe what happened to me with my holy water? I drink you. my holy water. We have to say to me, am I tannic? Oh. 
But you're tell me, say. Blood, prestige, man, you know, prestige. Blood, prestige, the blood. You know, Shelly, you have to plead the blood for him, you know, because he wants to lead if he stop our preaching and, and go around the house yeah. and walk and chant yeah. and touch you. Yeah. And in meet her that we are And in so meet her at our church. How dare you? So so you meet me in my rum bar. How dare you? If you meet me in my rum bar. I mean, you know, in. that's where the compromise is. And I speak strike. different language to you. And when you come from church, you speak different language to me too. Oh, so two not talking the tongues. <laughs> yeah. Okay, sir. So, so we, well, have to, we have to come to some, some you know what I mean? compromise and some yeah. understanding. So if it is that she's going to go to church five days a week, mm. I guess Prestige is saying, look here, no sister, you didn't meet me, I got my rum bar. Just leave me alone now, I got my rum bar. Mm. That's what we're saying. No, 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 I'm not saying that. No, uh -huh. we, we right. can come together yeah. and make changes. You get me? Yes. But nobody does, does implement this thing for me and, and come to me, but me have to come to church every, every, every uh, five nights a week with you. <laughs> and you now <laughs> step out. I'm going to run by with you five nights a week. I'm going with me. <laughs> not even one night. <laughs> Well, well, then the Bible speaks of the unequally yoked as well. Right. So, so if you know so that person is not your cup of tea, no matter what I say, leave oh, them alone. You know what? She not at church. I'm a yeah. church girl yeah. mm. because church girls are virgins, and she will help me to cure my. Sickness. And you're rummy, and you're not going to leave your rum bar. Yeah, you know, you have to know to, to each his own, but know what suits you best yes. and what doesn't suit you. Mm. That is true. Filter. Um, no leash for me. No mm. leash. No, I'm not raising a dog. We know it's a roof, roof. roof. You understand? <laughs> so no leash for me mm. any day, any time. So mm. I can't even respond to that. Okay. Somebody can put me on a leash, and I wouldn't want to put anybody's boy, child, or a man on any leash. True. Right? If I, if I see somebody um, exerting behavior, because remember, you know, if you're dating, when you finally live together, that is when you're going to see the entirety of who the person is. Oh, yes. And if I realize that I cannot deal with your behavior, and I'm going to sit you down and talk to you like a grown, mature adult. If you can be spoken you cannot, to. You cannot, or you refuse to make changes that will stop hurting my feelings and accommodate how I'm feeling. Then right. I'm going to have to walk away from that. Mm. Yeah, because I don't want to be nag, 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 nagging you. Yeah, no, I'm not nagging nobody. <laughs> no, I'm not nagging nobody. No, I'll walk away. Yes. If the, uh, the, the third part, they're talking about open relationship. Hear me now. I cannot see through this. If you want to be with other people, don't call it a relationship. It cannot be a relationship if mm. you are going to be with other people mm. and say it's open. Just call it what it is and do what it is you have to do. Mm. You're going up and listen to you know? Mm. All right. <laughs> yes, you say. Don't All right, Shelly, thanks, thanks for the input. But, right. but isn't it still, though? Isn't then it suppose, a relationship? Yeah, suppose it's... There's, wait, suppose it's a womb, right? In my view, it's an abnormal one. And I say this after a year before, right? Hmm. And you're a womb. And you're in a relationship for 30, 35 years. And you keep eating fish, fish, fish. And you decide, say, you want to eat pork. Yes. Oh, right? off air, Preston says, yes, he prefers to eat some porky. Yeah. Pig. Yeah. Yeah, we have a caller on <laughs> 453. Hello, caller. Good night. Welcome. Good night. Good night, Good night. <laughs> what was that, St. Thomas? Is it our tale? Yes. Uh, prestige. Yeah. Come on, I'm Preston. Yes. <laughs> I'm on, the, the, if the woman from the church. Yeah. I am going to the bar. Yeah. That's enough space to it all, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I guess so, right? <laughs> What's coming with that spirit? I want to the Holy Spirit. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Two yeah. words apart, right? Enough space. Yeah. That's enough space. Mm. Okay, sir. And, and you say we don't have, we trust. Well, you say there we, we trust there will be a fair play, right? Yes. Should we be. It should be fair play, right? Yes. Because we trust it. It's supposed to be fair play. Trust and respect. Yes. yes. Yeah. The other thing is that we know many men get a woman's face and they meet at they meet, their they, um, gambling face and the men go out go gamble and spend enough time with the man. They meet, I mean, well, you know what happened to him? Yeah. Um. Double six draw up a few <laughs> mm. <laughs> that. So, so the, the, there wasn't any trust in the relationship? Are that anything? thing? Right. As long okay. as you have trust in a relationship, me not going to think about if you go to a rug do anything. The woman not going to think about if you go to a rug do anything. You get me, I say? But we may... Too much time with your friend, them. 
No, 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 no. I not too much time. But, 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 no, but we come to get no. Despite clear. trust. Despite clear. trust. Clear. No, but clear. Trust, remember, yeah, remember, yeah. you know. I'm in a relationship. When, when I ship, especially when I ship really you see that see, you know. So yeah. when my man would have prefer to give me the give like I call me like a captain for the ship. Some of them it's see some like that we can't get some fish. Some of the ship they see in a lake to man. You hear what me I say? Huh? The thing about it, when you have trust in a relationship. Right? Yeah. And you are your partner. Before you, you remember I said this relationship I go for 30 years, you know? Right? Yeah. I don't have understanding. Yeah. You know see it, right? No. Me usually the home. Every yeah. day. Yeah. Just the home every day. Just like that. But come on, me cook. We sit down and watch TV, we do a little thing, all the time come, we go out yeah. and then we look away, right? Yeah. We decide to so know, babe, listen up. You know, so me just buck up some of my old time friends when I didn't go to school together and then bounce down you know, down the road. So. You know, see it, you know? If you want to come sit down and watch me play that, I you know, a couple of nights, that's fine. But I know she now come every night and I get a little space tonight. Yeah. And me and her song and bounce down, you know. We have trust in our relationship, you know. And we have understanding in our relationship, you know. So, you person, get me? I not tell you, say, me I go out there. Me kinda, me kinda well, are you saying that pr um, trust and in a relationship will prevent, would prevent a man from going to give it up or give a it woman? No, will it? No, 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 you can't. No, but 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 no. if me love my baby, Look here. if me love my wife, and me decide, say me don't need to go, they go go do not more. Prestige. Me not go, they go do it. Prestige. Choice. If you if you yeah. are with somebody who understand and respect yeah. each other, you have no time for that kind of. And no, there's something that's in my mind. Because if the person understands, yeah, she needs some time to go, go do her hair dressing and speak yeah. with her friends and whatever. And it can be mutual. It's just, it just, when you find the people like the picture, you're not going to smash it back and way, way. You're going to miss her, man. Eh? You're going to miss her in a relationship. Yes, good. So when you picture, you shut them down. You're not supposed to be there. <laughs> if you want to be happy, if you want to be happy, you know, 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 you you were into that one time? Yeah, yeah, that means you don't want anybody. Yes. Are you okay with that? But that was okay at the time. You see, there's a time for everything. Oh. You know, <laughs> any, any time you do a thing, you have to do a thing only for a period of time. Which is right. Nothing lasts forever. In, indeed. So, yeah. but now you wouldn't be oriented like that. You're not into that right now. No, I'm not going to open it. I'm not going to open it. Except I just one way. If I get the, the chance to see, to see it. As a captain, I reach for my line, I still can't. Mm -hmm. I don't want. Mm -hmm. Is that with you? Is that with you now? I'm sorry, fisherman. You understand? <laughs> <laughs> if it goes one way, it's okay. We're going to throw the net, I'm going to throw the line. I'm going to put out fish pot. <laughs> I'm into the room, only one room. It can be two beds, but only one room. One room and two beds. <laughs> oh, Jesus, boy, may I tell you. Have a good night. Thank you, Mr. Atil. Bless your soul. Take care. Yeah. <laughs> for one, I for if it's one way, you're <laughs> okay with it. You, you want to open part of the door. You don't want to hold the door open. Man, say, can be one room and two beds. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, boy. Lisa uh, says, if you respect your partner, yeah. you will never think of messing around. Yeah. Let's see what else Lisa is saying. That's um, true. Cassidy. Um... Oh, well, let's see. Relationship is two persons joined together, not left and right. right. All right. I, I understand the aspect about you respecting the person mm. and, you know, commitment mm. to the person where you don't feel that need mm. for anybody else. Everybody is the same, Alisa. You have people with different feelings, different <laughs> thoughts. You get me, I say? Their mind work different. You get me, I say? I have some people in a relationship. Over 40 years, you get, and they never touch a next woman, I never touch a mm -hmm. next man. Mm -hmm. You get me, I say, yeah, the woman never go out, they go cheat, the man never go out, they go cheat, and they mean that relationship for almost 40 45 years. Real talk, yeah. So, 
in this time, nothing like that can go on no more? <laughs> Eh? Oh for your gay woman space or your, your gay husband space, something liable for happen? Mm. No, me just a ask. I don't know. Me I throw the line out there, so uh, me I ask. Uh, you get me? Because me don't want to throw the net. How is one we may have? And two eh? beds. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Eh? Me I throw it out because, you know, it, it seems like so when you gay woman space now, me as it's a man give woman space that. now, it's like so me I send her out there now. You get me? Okay. I say, because me tired of her in the house, so me I send her out there now. You know what I mean? I say, upon that level, no. Well, at least you say it still happens. It yeah. still happens where right. yeah, you yeah. can send her out or do it, yeah. make her do her thing and yeah. you have the confidence that everything will be fine. Yeah, but look at me. Me, me not think they kind of weird. Eh? If you go out there, go, go do anything. Right? And some people who will put on me. them clothes and a jacket and, and, yeah. and, and, and cover up, mask up and go watch where the, where the woman says she's gone. Yeah. And women too who will go watch and peep to see if the man really And that no good for do. Really really oh, no, and that no good for do. Them. The woman them are not no good for no. no. So, mm -mm. You know what I mean? We're not a real PI. <laughs> yeah. FBI. You know what I'm saying? Say this, it can that. still happen. It can happen still. Mm. All right? And when you're not working on the phone, you're not working on the phone. And if you're not working on the phone, and you call one time, two time, three time, four time, and I get the person, and me tell you, say, me I go around the corner shop there, go sit down and bounce, so that me no man and boy. Boom. <laughs> If a, if a taxi, if it come out there, you take taxi, come out there. If I walk, if you walk, come out there, you walk, come out there. You save me out there. Well. And you know, walk and not pop up on me. So if you see me up here, that me know, right? Well. You will go back home. Well, if my instinct, because it has happened before where my mm. instinct tell me something. Mm. And when I have a time for walk all the time and, you know, mm. go visit and whatever, mm. whatever, mm. whatever. But to be honest with you, real talk, mm. on and two other times, yeah. them, my instinct got. Make it one got something, something, yeah. something. Yeah. And I say, I wonder if sometimes the mind plays tricks on you too, because yeah. the mind, trust me, if you can't, you know, control certain thoughts, you know, they overwhelm you too. And make you start think a uh, kind of paranoid way. Yeah, and because start thinking of, I wonder if I should probably. You go can't visit, see a woman go sit on and relax. Her and see if, you know? Yeah, yeah. She, she really, she really don't want for true one. So the mind, you have to know yeah. how to control the thoughts that you have. And you, watch, you, you sit down and you watch the movie. And then all of a sudden, you see another movie. Yeah, it's all, all of a sudden, something, all of a sudden, something just come coming. up in your soul. <laughs> and you say, no sir, something not right. Oh lord! But you sit down and I try to watch a movie, see your way. Joe. And I uh, know you never remember with the movie name. And something happened with you and the partner, probably yeah. something similar. Yeah. Similar words were exchanged, and you, you know, just start movie. thinking, ah, oh, yeah. kind of negativity, right? I, I think we we'll get up now, if we go there, and I say, Chuck, you know, say, me not go go watch your man. Yeah. And you sit and back down, and by the time you sit back down, you can't. <laughs> you, you get up and you go in the fridge, and you walk me the fridge. You take out something for drinking, and why not for drinking? And, and this happens mainly when the the, the the aspect of trust has been broken. Yes. Yes. You know, some, to, to an extent, when you start doubting that this right. person is really genuinely right. true to me, right. because you have women, you know, and men who they trust their partner so much that even if they're cheating, they don't even know mm. because they not think about it, they not pre meds it. You know, mm. them just. I would say me together, things For real. good. Yeah. So they're not even thinking yeah. about whether or not mm. she could get the chance to go, to go mm. cheat or mm. if he got the chance to go and do something. Yeah. You know? Mm. So, yeah. That's what I call clean cheating. Clean cheating? Yes. <laughs> All right. Uh, Mark Manton. Um, he is in Kelowna. Kelowna. I got that name right. Kelowna or Kelowna, Canada. Hey guys, good night. Good night to you too, Manton. Good to have you on board. Um, hmm, let's see this one. Open 331 for me. I've seen it where the woman just get greedy. So she gets left. Then some men let the woman use the YouTube family prank. <laughs> Catch them. All right, go on to our... Um, next one, Lisa says, no, 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 I'm not going out there, but the cars now come with GPS built in. <laughs> Lisa will be GPSing him. Yeah. Nova Martin. Hi, Miss Cleon Prestige, the big man Prestige looking handsome in yellow. Nova locked in listening. Can I tell you Nova in Peru, Illinois? Yes, man. He looks sharp for you. Um, Thank you, Nova. O'Neill says, Clear, you look tired. Oh, yes, I am. I worked all day today. All right. 
All right, there we <laughs> have. Mm -hmm. Oh, you just dry with us, so. Mm. Eh? You can yeah. say, yes, O'Neill. I, I, I work yeah, I, all no, day I today. Said it, I, I worked all yeah. day for you. I'm just trying to read the others as we go. But you just dry with it. Just some water funny. Where's it up? Where's it up? See how juice it. All right, so we go back to the last part now yeah. of the Vox, Vox Pop. Pop. Mm. Uh, just before we close that one out, let's see. How receptive are you to an open relationship? Share yeah, your thoughts. Yeah. As I said earlier, I am no, 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 mm. no. Mm. Um, we invite our listeners to call us back after the 11 o'clock break. Feel free to share whether you think you are receptive. You're opened. Mm. Are you opened yeah, to an open relationship? Are you receptive of that? Is it an okay thing for you? Because... To each his own. Uh, we don't we condemn nobody. Yeah? Yeah, it, it, Everybody to their own thing and choices and preferences. Yeah. But there are people out there who do have open relationships and yeah. they are going strong. You're following um, social media network? Uh, yeah, I think at times sometimes. With this young on. man, when say, with his girlfriend. No. Eh? I haven't seen that his one. Girlfriend say, one want for you. Explore. Know? Yeah, and him say, well, okay. Okay. Make, yeah. Uh -huh. And he end up where, you know, he couldn't take for what go on and we yes. see. You oh, get Jesus. Me? I work with the girlfriend. <laughs> so, <laughs> all about the man and so, at the moment. Worse if it's bigger than his. 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 You get me? Uh -huh. Yeah. Yep. So, each to each his own. Mm. Can you handle an yeah. open relationship? Me not depend on that, you know. Can't handle it. No. Can't handle it none at all. Me no Please feel free to make mm. sure you call no us dependent. back. We want to hear know? from you listeners. Text us or call us mm. and tell us yay mm. or nay to an open relationship mm. for you. Me have high blood pressure, so <laughs> we can't deal with that. You don't want to blood pressure the person in your head? No. Okay, yeah. okay. Um... I don't even want to hear about that crap about open relationship. No way. And I knew from long time that Lisa is a no-no when it come on to that one. I'm sure Charm will also tell us that me no in a no open relationship what with to Charm? nobody. Oh, we know you Charm. Yes, that's how Charm would have shared that one mm. with us. I'm sure of it. Charm would not be in for that. Mm. Charm probably would say, if he want open relationship, he can go on about in business. All right? So for most people, I think they are in for a, a lock up, yeah? Lock up the relationship. Just me and you, brother. Right? Just me and you. Ain't no third party coming into this thing. All right? So there you've heard it from the Vox Pop. When we come back, though, we're going to share the views of the people out on the street. And please feel free to call us or send us a text relating to whether you're for it or you're against it. And the reason why you're for it, if you are for it. It's now 11 o'clock. The time is brought to us by VJ Printing Services. And Real Talk is sponsored by Native Audio Stage and Lighting Stick and Stay. Architects, draftsmen and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high quality white paper printing that is water resistant and never fades unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 893-2266. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, now offering stage, lighting, and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events, whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party, or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. Guess what? Styles FM has a new business number for you to call, text, and now WhatsApp. 518-2399. To advertise your business and events, call, text, or WhatsApp us on 518-2399 518-2399 Don't forget 518-2399 Clifford Guesthouse 
sponsor of Metamorphosis on Monday nights from 9 p.m. to 12 midnight with Dr. Iman Black. Located at 15 Queen Street, Port Antonio, that's Ditchfield Hill, they offer accommodations for up to one month. Call them at 285-0610 for more information. Are you sick of living an average life and tired of just getting by? Do you want to take your life to the next level? Learn the secrets of the super successful. Listen to Power in a Half Hour with Coach Mark this and every Wednesday night on Styles FM from 9 to 10 p.m. Learn the habits of the super successful and how to make these habits work for you. Learn to turn your dreams and desires into reality. You can win in the game of life. Let Coach Mark show you how every Wednesday night on Styles FM from 9 to 10 p.m. On Fusion! The most anticipated party of the summer is back. Styles FM, Fan Fusion Party, Episode 6, Drunken Masquerade, Saturday, July 13, 2019, at the Bayview Waterfront Property, Oysters Bay, Port Antonio, Jamaica. Come here, Styles FM's finest DJs, juggling retro hits from the 70s, 80s, 90s, and early 2000s. Admission 700 pre-sold, 1,000 at the gate, VIP 3,500, Styles Evo 6,000. Party starts at 7 p.m. sharp. Listen to Styles FM for ticket outlets or call 876-518-2399. Fan Fusion Party, Drunken Masquerade, dressed tropically elegant. Fan Fusion is not just a party, it's an experience. Must be 18 years and older to enter. ID required. Drink responsibly. Planning a party, club night out, stage show, a gospel concert, or even a business sales event? Let Styles FM be a part of your promoting tool. Take advantage of our low-priced promotion packages with commercials, interviews, giveaways, reviews, and much more. We have special offers when you mix and match and bundle your options. Contact us at 876-286-9216 or 439-5160. Styles FM for the most effective way to exploit your marketing dollar. Welcome back to Real Talk. We have another 55 minutes to go with you. All right, so please stick and stay and feel free to share as we go throughout the rest of the show. Uh, Marvin in Texas says, if it's with another female my wife want to have an open relationship with, I am all for it. Yes, Martin, I knew you would be all for it. Yes. Oh, really? <laughs> so the men who are saying yes to an open relationship, if the woman is going to be with, with another woman, they are in it because eventually I'm sure they are hoping that they'll be able to join into the phone. But that's not what, 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 what we're expecting the response to be. If, what about another male? She don't want a female. She wants another male to hang with. Yeah, you have a problem with that. Clearly, I know you would. I so know you guys would. All right, we are going to go to the Vox Pop quickly, and then we move into the rest of the show. Yes, Mr. Lindsay, I'm coming in on your topic. Um, this is Keita. And I believe you said every lover need a holiday, which I will agree with you totally on that. However, your first question is, have you ever felt overwhelmed by your partner? I would say yes and no, but what I will say is it's very nice for each person to have their me time, to have their own space, to even hang with friends, go out, have a drink, you know, sit around, laugh, and just have fun. You don't have to have him around you all the time. Um, that makes the relationship more healthy. That makes you miss that person because you're not out with him. You're out with your friends, having a good time, and then your mind just goes right back to, to him. Um, I have been married now for 22 years, and I believe that in a relationship or in a marriage or whether um, it's a boyfriend or a girlfriend thing, everyone has to have trust. And if you don't have trust, then you have nothing. And trust is the key to, um, to, to a, a relationship to keep it healthy. And you don't have to put a leash on your man, you know, or you don't have to put a leash on your woman. Once you take the time out to know each other, you won't have to do that. And if you have to put a leash on your man, then that simply means say, 
might as well each of you go your separate way because he's gonna find ways and means to go out and do what he wants to do. So putting a leash on him does not solve the issue or the problem. You know, you have to have trust to build on that relationship. Um, now your, say, your second question is, um, are you open for, are you open to a, um, open to an open relationship? For me, that's simple no. I'm just gonna go point blank, no, no, no. So I really don't have a comment for that because I'm not open to any relationship um, having uh, another person around um, in my matrimonial bed or wherever. I'm, I'm just not open for that. So I hope this answers your questions and um, that's just my comments and feedback on um, your topic. Um, great topic indeed. All right, thank you so very much. Um, <laughs> Thanks for the input. All the persons who shared in the Vox Pop, those who called in, those who sent us their messages. Thank you guys so much. I'm going to go to an article here. Let me just find that article quickly. I lost it just um, a few. All right, so we have two different articles for you. One, how to fix a one-sided relationship before it ends in failure if it is that you're in a one-sided relationship any at all i want to think that the other party is not blind and they must realize that it's one-sided and if it is that they don't realize that it's one-sided then and when you point it out to them that hey this is one-sided i am gonna hope and think that he or she will see the need to fix the problem because a one-sided relationship does not going to work. You know, like when you broke the bird wing, him can't fly, yeah? Him just a walk and a drop on one side or the dog foot broke or injured, yeah? So if you are in a one-sided relationship, then there is definitely some injury going on there and you need fixing. All right, so how to fix a one-sided relationship before it ends in failure? And if you can't fix... Just, just cut it off. Call it a day. If you're the one doing all the running, it's time for an intervention before the end is nigh. Let's see how to fix a one-sided relationship. Are you always the one to text first or who suggests dates and nights out? Do you have the niggling feeling that, you're, that you've invested in this relationship more than your partner? Huh. If so, my friend, you're in the midst of a one-sided relationship. You're probably wondering how to fix a one-sided relationship. No, I spoke with a gentleman, um, was it of Thursday, Wednesday, and he was a sharing, he's now married, and he was a sharing an experience he had. And he said he was once with this female who she would do anything for him. And he knew that. And he said he felt bad afterwards. But at the time when he was doing it, he was just with her going and getting. She would take him shopping. She would buy him the fanciest gifts. She would buy him the nicest stuff. You know? and spend money on him and give him money and he said he just kept going back because of that but his heart and his mind was somewhere else he did not love the girl but he did all of that at the time and when he said that something struck me because i'm like you know there are people out there who they see that they're the ones the only one doing yeah, in the relationship, they're the only ones trying to be impressive. Males out there do it, and females out there are doing it. Doing it. I, I'm leaning on the side where I think more women are now doing it than men. I could be so wrong, but I'm getting the feeling that things have turned somewhat where you have women who they want the man so badly. So, they want to be with the man so badly. They just worship they even just meet him and him, you know, is a is a is a quote unquote man of their dreams. And they just meet him. 
you know, or she just, she just meet him. She, she, she goes all out to be impressive. And nothing is wrong with, with doing in your relationship. Don't get me wrong. But when it is that you're the one, the one, doing everything, and the man or the woman is not reciprocating, yo, something wrong with that, don't it, Prestige? Yeah. Definitely. Mm -hmm. All right? So let's, and with, and, and yes. situation like that, you, 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 you find um, mm -hmm. the individual, right, who is not doing anything, more panda level where it look like him know says so she's that kind nice type of person yes. you know me i say yeah and right? abuses and, it. And it, yes yeah take advantage of yeah, that's level. Bad though. That's you know bad. what i mean yeah one side of the relationships can be extremely damaging and upsetting for the person who is doing all the giving while the other is take 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 Sad part is sometimes they don't realize that they're the ones, they're the only ones giving. They're mm -hmm. so caught up with impressing mm -hmm. and trying to please mm -hmm. that they forget that they're the only ones mm -hmm. making the extra effort. Nobody wants to feel undervalued or not cared for. If that's what a relationship is meant to feel like, why would anyone actually want to be in one in the first place? Yeah, but you yeah, have a woman to where does pay for love? Oh, gosh, man. Yeah. Oh, good gosh, you know that. man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'm saying I think more men are wising up as it relates to that. Yeah. And I, I was passing in half a tree and I heard some other men on the corner saying, no man no love, no man no more. I, I just money, I just the money. <laughs> and I'm like, in my head I was like going to stop and say, no, you do have women who really are with a man for mm -hmm. love. Mm -hmm. But I, I was really rushing so I didn't bother to stop to, mm -hmm. you know, share. Yeah, but I asked a woman to panic side as well, I say a while ago, them pay so yeah, much for love, they, 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 with they, them. They, mm, yeah. I'm sad. Yeah. No, no, re no, relationships are supposed to be equal, okay? On certain days, you might give a little more, and your partner might do the same on another day. But that's just life. When the imbalance seems to be a permanent or ongoing thing, mm. it's time to sit up and take notice. Real talk. Yes. What happens if you don't? You're basically allowing yourself to go down a route or route towards total unhappiness and being taken for granted. Mm -hmm. You deserve much better than that. And the next thing you know is some women have been so psychologically planted in the relationship mm -hmm. that they know they're the only ones giving, mm -hmm. but they don't walk out. That, you have some men too with yeah. some hot, pretty, se yeah. pretty sexy girls and... You know, it's like they're with the woman of their dreams. Mm -hmm. And it's the proudest feeling they have to pose with this particular girl. Mm -hmm. So even though she might not be putting forth anything, bringing anything to the table, they are there because she's like a trophy girl or a trophy wife. And they just have her there posing to some of the events, yes. And is, she's in the roll, rolling up in the vehicle with them because all eyes will be turning to look at her. Yeah, and, and they go for that. Yeah. And they're the only ones spending. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's a case where the macho in them say, hey, I'm the man, I don't mind spending. It's okay if she doesn't do anything or if she can't contribute. I don't know if you have men, maybe you have men like that who just want to feel big and look big. Yeah. And they'll do all the mean? spending. Yeah. But, no, I don't know. Yeah. The one-sided thing, just away. It's just know? away. And again, too, let's say, for instance, your girlfriend, right? And, 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 and she see Cassidy and like Cassidy. And she does a spend pan Cassidy, just keep spending. And you are talking to your girlfriend and I say, Sophia, listen up. Why is up yourself, man? You know? Why is up yourself? Look into life, baby. Mm -hmm. Because she come and tell you some more about things, you know? Mm -hmm. And you are feel yourself, you know? On the outside and see what's going on, you know? And you look pan. Because you never tell her, say, you personally never tell her if you mash up a relationship, you know? Mm -hmm. And tell her, say, listen up. You know, say, me see Joe out the road. With all these girls all over the place. You get me? You take, keep taking up your money, spending your money. You're not going to tell her that. You may tell her, Sophia, why is it yourself? Sit back and look into yourself. You get me? Look upon life. You know? Mm -hmm. And see what it's worth between you and this young man. You know see? Real talk. You know? Real talk. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> you know? And I'll just say it more time. All right. You're not carrying news. 
No? No, you have a council your sister. Mm -hmm. You're not carrying on news until I see you with June and run a road with this girl last week and last night you see him with the next girl. No. You tell her to wise up herself, look into her herself. You get me I say? Mm -hmm. Because this relationship where you're in, right? You know, um, babe, just look into yourself. Look okay. into yourself. Real talk. Yeah. The good news is that there is something sometimes an intervention that can make a difference of course it all depends on whether you, whether or not the one not paying much attention is willing to change that's true that's true all right um how to tell if you're in a relationship or to tell if your relationship rather is one-sided first things first how can you actually tell whether there really is a distinct imbalance in your relationship you can't simply jump to the conclusion that you're in a one-sided relationship just because last week your partner hasn't been that attentive. Perhaps they were stressed at work or they've got something on their mind. Look at the relationship so far as a whole. Has it always been this way? Were they far more attentive at the start than once they got you, everything changed? This is such a common situation, and most of us have experienced at some point, at some point. The problem is, when you have feelings for someone, mm -hmm. it's difficult to simply walk away. Mm -hmm. Real talk. Mm -hmm. In that case, learn how to fix a one-sided relationship and put a plan into action. Take that course of action if you are experiencing or feel any of the following points on a regular basis basis you're always the one doing the planning example nights out lunches weekends away and they never come up with any suggestions on their own you're always the one texting or calling first you haven't met their family or friends yet <laughs> <laughs> bear in mind that this is perfectly normal mm -hmm. if they're if they've only been dating for a few weeks to months right? so if it's a few weeks and you don't meet them yet that's different but years and years of hunting and no 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 mm -hmm. no no you feel like your feelings are taken for granted that is they never ask how your day was you mm -hmm. know mm -hmm. or show you any concern if you're feeling down they say you're sick, they don't even ask you what happened to you. Mm. They just want to go into other things mm. right away. Mm -hmm. No, sir. Uh, 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 uh. Run. You've always, you're always the one asking them if they're okay, how their day was, if they need anything. Mm. Okay, no man, you can't make a spouse necessarily into something that they're not, you know. Mm -hmm. They either have it or they don't have certain things. Yeah. And if a woman don't have class or a man don't have class, you can't really give it to them. Mm -hmm. They have to know that if I want when my head hurt me, she come and ask me, baby, what happened to you? You all right? And mm. rub my head yeah, and give me a them. pill mm. or, or, you know, and take care of me. Mm. Why you can't figure say when she's sick of the same thing? Yeah. No, or when fair hurt her for the same thing? No, when she come on You don't need rocket science no, when to, she to come know that. No, when she come on me, I tell her, I said, the insurance due tomorrow mm -hmm. to the car. And she said, the woman looks and she sad and, and tired. And you never pick her up from work at evening time either. Mm. Tell you, boy. Mm. I tell you. Um, you're always asking if they're okay. You got that one already. Um, you don't feel appreciated. If you can nod your head to most of these signs, it doesn't have to be all of them, then you may very well be in a relationship which is tipping so far to one side. It is in serious danger of falling over altogether, capsizing like a boat on a rough sea. Mm -hmm. So, what is the answer? Walk away or try to fix it? <clears throat> Here we see some options. Oh, well, some signs to look out for. How to fix a one-sided relationship before you call time. Firstly, by giving you this rundown of how to fix a one-sided relationship, I am by no means advocating that you accept the relationship as it is. It has to be your decision on whether or not you are happy to try and fix it. If you, if, and if you really do feel it's not worth it, walk away with your head held high. What I am saying is that it could very well be that your partner simply doesn't realize how you feel. Mm -hmm. In this case, perhaps it's worth one shot. 
only if you can decide but i have been in this position before and i decided to try and fix it um well again if the person don't realize because men are from mars women are from venus so you might have different thought process yeah mm -hmm. and what might seem like emotional to a woman or personal to her a man might not even see it so it's good to always point out first before you just jump ship right but then again how much pointing out will you be able to do and for how long all right so um the relationship came to a natural end a year afterwards that's what she's saying from her experience but it wasn't it wasn't to do with this reason i was glad i had the conversation because it actually improved things for a while there are six steps here we go one think carefully the first part is really about identifying how you feel think carefully before you make any moves are you sure that this hasn't only been going on for a week or two could there be another reason are you looking for things that aren't there so think carefully before you say this is a one-sided relationship mm -hmm. look at what is causing him or her to not be able to um help with for example a bill right now could it be that they lost the job yeah could it be that they're not getting enough so the salary not as not as strong as you'd expect it to be, so they can't do much. So you have to look at all of that before. Could it be that she's the only one putting out and she's not keen for him to do anything because she's in love with him? Oh, God. Well, if that's the case, she mm. chooses to be in a one-sided relationship. Mm. But for the person who doesn't want to be in it mm. and you're in it, then, you're in it. then you have to know, look at these the, the signs. So you have mm. to think carefully before you jump out. At, yeah. Look at the reasons. You know, how mm. long has this been going on? Mm. What are the trends that you've noticed? Two, communicate in a clear way. Real talk. Once you know how you feel, sit down with your partner and communicate how you feel. Mm -hmm. Keep your emotions out of it if you can. But if they flow outwards, don't worry about it. You're simply being real. Real talk. Explain as clear as you can about how it makes you feel. Avoid pointing and blaming. So sit down and say, boy, Louis, I don't know, you know, but I kind of feel strained away because, you know, Right now, we don't have enough you know, financial resources and you know, my little salary not able to meet all the needs that we have. So what can we cut back on? You know, or have you tried applying here, there, whatever, for another job? Did you call back the company to see if they, they sent a response or to get a feedback from them? So you have to communicate with the person now yeah. and you know, come to some amicable and mutual understanding. understanding. Okay, so I'm going to start um, doing some more applications. Or, yeah, man, I heard of a job that Mr. So and so company, um, they have some work now, some yeah. mason yeah, work uh, or yeah. something. Yes, I'm gonna go down there and check out something and see if we can, you mm -hmm. know, mm -hmm. get some, some more in. So, communication is important. All right, we're going through quickly. Number three, ident identify if they're willing to change. If the woman no want change and she just want one man for mine or treat her galang galang, so um, poor you feel like a some money can't do nothing much. You have your training for look after and she just want, want, want every day. She no want to work. She want to do ear and nails and, and all pretty clothes every day. Cannot work. Right? So is the person willing to change? She no want to go work. Because she'll live comfortably. She'll get food, three meals a day. Yeah, she's so in a comfort in a house and relaxing and can't get a little pocket money the same way. She don't want to work. Will they change? If they're not going to change, call your shot. From, that, from the conversation mm. you've just had, you will be able to ascertain whether they're willing to change or not. Definitely. So when you communicate with them clearly, you see how the person, person respond yeah. to you. Yes, man. And you will know, so look at a man. I all cough that run with that. All right, four. Concentrate on one thing only. After you've been in the after you've had the conversation, you're likely to be on high alert, looking for signs or change or otherwise. You'll burn yourself out if you do this. Instead, stick to one problem at a time. Are they suggesting dates more often? Once you've ascertain, ascertained change in that department, move on another area onto another area after they 
texting you are they texting you first on occasion no don't overwhelm yourself or them with a list of points to address so just relax and focus on the one so if I several things the girl will do are the man doing just, just sit down and relax and focus, focus on one, on one thing. thing so i want him to be a little bit more um helpful yeah um i know the funding he'll probably give me the money mm -hmm. a lot of it to do stuff but how supportive is he you know how supportive is he to when i have things to do when there are issues that come up does he want me you know, to deal with them or will he sit down with me and work it out or just do your thing yeah man do what you have to do man can't not, uh, time for that now you know so all of that you have to look into um number five look after number one all right throughout the whole process after you've voiced your concerns turn your attention onto yourself all right spend time out of the relationship as well as in it this will allow you to regroup and recover from the way you felt before the conversation took place. Da, da, All right, dee. definitely. Spend it might time. also make your partner see that you're not putting all your eggs into one basket. Oh. So, <laughs> oh. Ironically, by focusing on yourself, it's likely to turn focus onto you too. So if you're really interested or if she's really interested and he or she sees that you're kind of... You know, yeah. show some boy me frustrated, yeah. and they really, really want to be with you. Yeah. Then they are gonna make an extra Eff effort to make an adjustment. Number that was number six. All right, the final question: What do you do if you don't see much in the way of improvement? You know, see not not change. Move on. How long do you leave it? How long do you stay? These are questions to carefully consider after that initial conversation and in the weeks afterwards, if you see no change or perhaps there was a small change and then it went back to the way it was before, decide whether this relationship is really for you. If they don't place an importance on your feelings, then there is no happy future in your union. Unfortunately, it's really that simple, real talk. We cannot keep having the same conversation over and over and over. Yes, that's one of the call we're nagging. Uh -huh. You will sound like a struck, stuck record, and there's no fun in that. Definitely. And of course, with this article, um, Nikki Curtis, we have come to the 11.30 break. And the time is brought to us by VJ Printing Services. Real Talk is sponsored by Native Audio Stage and Lighting. When we come, we have more Real Talk for you. Stick and stay. Surveyors, get your drawings printed in high quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high quality white paper printing that is water resistant and never fades, unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 893 -22 Business operators, local and overseas, this announcement is for you. Styles FM is an internationally known radio network with worldwide listeners in over 120 countries. From our studio in Port Antonio, Jamaica, to the ears of the people in your community, our listeners can be your new customers. Styles FM is an economical, efficient, and effective advertising option for your business. No matter the size of your business, there's always growth potential. Styles FM provides the customer reach needed to realize that upward movement. So procrastinate no more. Advertising is a must. For more details on how to advertise with Styles FM, visit www.stylesfm.com or email info at stylesfm.com or call us on 876-518-2399. Styles FM, the world listens. Holy golly! <laughs> 
Why? Your Saturdays will never be the same again. 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. on Styles FM. Get the showdown. Social commentary. Tune, no, tune. No, 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 no. You're in love with a love song. Oh, help me. Love songs are Let them touch your soul. Between 9 a.m. and 1 p.m. on the People Station, Styles FM. 96.1, 96.5, 96.7. Only the smooth sailing. With Colin Anthony, shotgun to the fame. One of the things I've been done. For complete auto repairs and services, come to Aiken Auto Technology, located at 33 Bumble Crescent, Port Antonio, Jamaica. We offer specialist services in wheel alignment and wheel balancing, brake drum and disc rotary servicing, state-of-the-art ultrasonic cleaning and testing of your fuel injectors. We also stock an assorted range of auto service parts, tires and motorcraft batteries. If we don't have it, we will source it for you. Call us at 876-715-5205. Or email AconAutoTech16 at gmail.com. Acon Auto Technology, beyond the typical auto mechanic shop. Guess what? Styles FM has a new business number for you to call, text, and now WhatsApp. 518-2399. To advertise your business and events, call, text, or WhatsApp us on 518-2399. 518-2399 Don't forget 518-2399 Native Audio Stage and Lighting, now offering stage, lighting, and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party, or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. Welcome back to Real Talk, and oh boy, our discussions have been wide and varied from night. I am going to invite our male listeners on this next article that we look at tonight, we're going to be looking at tonight, and I'm going to start off with Cassidy. Um, Cassidy, do you think you know what really turns a woman on? And I don't mean sexually now. What stimulates her? And I don't mean sexually now, because of course, an erect member will stimulate her if you know how to use it. So that's a given, yeah? But do you think you know how to turn on a girl and make her really, really fall for you? Yeah? Give me two of those ways, reasons. Give me two things you know that girls, ladies, go crazy for. Mm -hmm. Make her laugh. Huh? You're right on that one, Cassidy. <laughs> She wants a man who will make her smile all the time. I, I want two, sir. That's one. Mm -hmm. You're on the spot tonight. Food? Did you say food? You can't cook, yeah, cook for her? No, my. But you're, you're well on your way, Cassidy. You're well on your way, my youth. So now I turn to my co host. Mm -hmm. Do you think you know what turns a girl on? Yes. Let me hear it. Yes. Yes? The number one thing is money. Uh -huh. Money? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think that's the number one thing for most women. For mm? every woman, rather. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it, it, it helps, yeah. you know. But it help? It, it, it yeah. does play its part. It plays its part because yeah. you need money for everything. But, but what else do you think you, you got? Oh, you, so you have money? Yeah. Ladies, Prestige has got the money. Mm -hmm. So no longer does Colin Anthony is the man with the money and all the honey. Mm -hmm. You do have some money, too. Yeah. Okay. What else do you think turns them on? Lyrics. You mean lyrics? Give her sweet talks. What, what, what you know mean? What you mean? Are we not going to go so? They want to hear. We turn them on. So, you yeah, tell me, say, so you're going to meet a girl. She looks yeah. really nice yeah. to you, but you're going to tell her something different, different, something. Yeah. But you think she want to hear for yeah. trying to impress her? Yes. Tell her the truth. Listen the to me. The fan was big, it was big. Clear. And then, to her, that becomes the truth. You know about me. <laughs> 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 you know about me. It with me at a lie. 
Well, three, three, yeah. one. Listen like the boy says. <laughs> the way them greedy, money, attention. Yeah. Money and attention or money attention? Is which one? Mm. Eh? Money <laughs> and talk attention. Talk to me. All right. Mm. Well, there are a lot of things that turn women on. Mm. Let's just see if Timothy Mange got this one right. Because he says, 18 things that turn girls on and makes you a real catch in their eyes. So Prestige and Cassidy... Listen and learn because you can just learn a few things more that you didn't know before. If money in the night, then it not make sense. You're too <laughs> you sound like rude. All right. So in my view, I can't speak for every lady, mm -hmm. but I'm going to try to represent for <clears throat> a small fraction of the ladies. Yes. And before I even read through further with the rest of the article, mm -hmm. I believe strongly mm -hmm. that... It comes with various, um, don't look at me like that. <laughs> it, it comes with various yeah. age, yeah. age groups. Yeah. So the younger versions, generally speaking, might have different desires. Yes. While the older, more mature, seasoned ladies might have different desires again. And you do have exceptions in every, to every rule as well. So while you find that the younger one, it is probably deemed that the younger ones might just be happy go lucky and giddy. And, you know, just want money, money, money. There are exceptions to those cases where you have some younger persons, some one or two young people who are really serious and don't mind setting from early, having a family and raising a family and all that. And on the other side, too, you have some older ones who are more, quote unquote, you know, should be more mature then age-wise as well as otherwise, experience-wise, you have some of the older persons who probably they have gone through this thing before and it didn't work for them. And they just decide that right now, we just don't want no, no, want no more marriage, not no more commitment, nothing. Mm -hmm. Male and female alike, no mm -hmm. doubt. Mm -hmm. It's not going to work for me anymore. Yeah. I'm just going to live. Live and just be open. comfortable and just, yes. Yeah. So to each his own, as I yeah. said, based on your situation, because mm -hmm. I can't speak for you. All right, but exceptions are there. But let's see. Um, I think a woman need a woman. The average woman needs comfort. Yes. Um, a sense of happiness and um, she, she she wants to feel appreciated. Yeah. I think every single woman, woman need needs to money. feel <laughs> they, That's need to feel, that too, they need money and they need to feel appreciated with the money. They need yeah. to feel a sense of appreciation with yeah. the money. Yeah. They need to feel accepted with the money. Yeah. They need to feel loved yeah. and respected. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, with yeah. the money. Everything stem off of the I'm, money. I'm going there. I'm, I'm saying that just for your sake. Yes, everything. All right. Yeah. So I think also that mm. a woman needs security. Yeah. I could be wrong, but I just think that every woman, unless she's really a real hardcore tomboy, away, not nobody are, and mm. she just tuggy tuggy, and she, she couldn't care less if you want, <clears> if, she, if you want, makes you feel secure or not. She just in the thing, and she had do her thing to she ready for cut, whatever. But the average woman who is really into settling and so on, she needs security. Yeah. And security don't mean that you're going to be by her side every day, people and watch over her shoulder where mm -hmm. she'll go. Mm -hmm. where she'll go. Mm -hmm. She wants to feel that sense of safety. The end, the end of the day, right? She's if well. you call the word money again, you see? The end of the day, she's well, comfortable, well, secure. Financially. And, finan right. and otherwise. Yeah. But yeah. Money, everything <laughs> stem. Oh, man, money. you're too cold. 18 things that turn girls on yes. and makes you a real catch in their eyes. Men, listen and learn. Yes. If you think you know all there is to know about things that turn girls on, we bet you there are some on this list that will take you by surprise. Huh. 813 says, clean Always clean and humble. Okay, all right. Keep those texts coming in, and mm. the calls are, uh, you can make your calls through as well. Most guys go through their lives thinking they know everything about things that turn girls on. And in this moment of ignorance, they fail to realize it's not just about having a well sculpt, sculpted body, pretty face. 
and a six-figure salary to get into a woman's good graces. You see, my talk about is not just about the money. Clearly, you can't deny that having those is a great advantage. Yeah. <laughs> however, however, prestige. <clears throat> Women also are attracted to men for some of the most random, if not strangest reasons. You're right. Lady Grace says, not true, prestige. Mm. <laughs> true. The man is on Bigfoot, 15 <laughs> and 16. <laughs> Things that turn girls on, every man should know. Gracie, tell me what you find intriguing. Lisa, ladies in Radio Land listening in, text us right now and tell us what it is that you find intriguing when a man does this particular thing or these things. Girl, you can say, uh, oh, he mm. has got me weak. Oh. All right? Call, phone lines are open. Mm. All right. Women are known to have a great eye for detail and take pleasure in those simple manly quirks that they observe. What are those other random things that turn girls on aside from the usual? Huh? Number one. Man who smell good. My back foot, you know what one. Personal hygiene. <laughs> Personal hygiene is unanimously considered a universal turn on for women. Call her on the four five three. Good night. Go ahead, sir. You're on air. No for woman them. Good night, good night. Good night. Good night. Not even know what really turn the man or what injury. I lie you a tell. It's no, lie you telling. Cool. You find the ones who don't develop Would good yet. Ever treat them so nice. Mm -hmm. Do my I'll sit on our I'll 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 plot here and I don't worry about something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you still want you know, no money? Tap it. Tap it. It's not true. No money. Real talk. You have women who strong with men where them go through rough and tough times with and them love them because they say so the man love them and they will spend upon them man. Your mother. You can't like me or your mother and maybe a few. <laughs> <laughs> you your mother. Aye. <laughs> All right, so I hear you, the boy. I hear you. Uh, <laughs> or me and your granny. Uh, uh, which one? <laughs> I don't hear that. You know what it is? You know what it is, Mr. You could have, you could have taken a visa to South Africa and said, I'm going kill yourself away. <laughs> still not appreciate it. Oh, boy. It's sad. It's sad, though. Uh, it's sad. Yeah. yeah. All right. Thanks, the boy. Uh, Keep yeah. it locked. All right. So, personal hygiene is the first one. I mm. mean, I tell you. Really and truly, mm. this ought to be number one for true. Because yeah. if the man teeth them not steal good, me not please, you know. Yeah. Me not impress, you know. Me not really want the kissing thing, you know. Me mm -hmm. not kiss a knock and knock out. I am so sorry. I am not. I don't have the best teeth. There are. I'm told they are pretty mm. and that them white and all these things. But I not going to engage in. <laughs> you have to have personal hygiene. Nice clean teeth and nice breath and do your flossing and them something under your dentist and all these things. Come on, man. <laughs> Who? <laughs> a guy easily gets a woman's favor if he knows how to keep his clothes clean and his body well groomed. Yeah. For the ladies, an average looking guy easily beats an attractive one if he takes more showers than the latter. So some girls love thuggy thuggy guys. And don't get me wrong, a guy can look thuggy thuggy, yeah. but him clean and smell good. Yeah. And when I talk about dirty clothes, when you're up on the construction site, that's mm -hmm. different, because mm -hmm. him, him clothes can't clean from a car black and mix matter. Oh. Right? Like how me look thuggy but, thuggy. But, you look thuggy thuggy, which part? But <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't expect that if you're going home, gentlemen, you're leaving the work site and you go home and you're sweat up and everything, and you have on the same old stained with um, sweat clothes going into a taxi or into the bus. Mm. Come on now. Mm. You got to find, have a change of clothes where you're going to change off. If you can't have a full, full, good, 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 good of shower. Do some form of cleaning up, man. You know, get some little water or something. You know, have to wash up, wash up. But, you know, clean up your arm and so because, like me say, you can find that you're sweating and it's understandable that you're going to sweat. So what happened to the one then where, 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 where? Got the gym and the gym for all three or four hours. And wear a sweat up and No, but you can't get a vehicle, someone. And yeah. say your own vehicle. 
You, you can't be in a public vehicle, so. And when they have the outfit, when they have on. Me not but care, me not want him body, beside when me. When you look on him body. Uh -huh. Yeah, Ooh. then look, yeah. La, la, la. What happened to that? No, me not care how you want to look. Mm. Even if I'm my person. Mm. If it's your personal car, mm. I'll be fine beside you. Okay. But me not going on a taxi. Yeah. And you're coming there with your gym, something, with your sweat. If you're, if you're not... If you're not if you no longer wet up, you know, are you? Mm. You, you, you come from gym, but you're your clothes mm. not soaking wet. Me so understand. What I mean, smell all right. Smell all right? Mm -hmm. And wet? Then you know, most women are going to gym and they put on in perfume and they go to gym and they come Yes, but say, you can't yeah. be wet, wet with a coming in one taxi mm. or a public vehicle, man. No, mm. man. Change off the wet clothes when I put on one next shirt because even though you know, beard, mm. Mm. but you still not go. Be sitting beside people who are yeah. clean, clean clothes are probably about out. You come and say, a big man. Oh, you say wet and smell so nice. No, sir. Eh, eh, Where eh, you come from? You no, drop no. in the water? Eh, eh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, number two, a sharp dresser. So women like a man with personal hygiene and a sharp dresser. Uh, women swoon for a man who selects and wears his clothes well, even if they came straight out of the thrift store. True? Mm. Wearing ill-suited clothes, even with a ludicrous price tag attached, will not always guarantee a lady's attention. In the end, it depends whether a man has a defined sense of taste and style. Now, certain style is not for me. Mm -hmm. Don't get me wrong. Mm -hmm. But to each his own, and for the man who is normally an average, sharp and clean, he will have a lady looking. Because I've seen men who I said to myself, boy, yo, sharp and look good, clean like a whistle. Mm. I love to see that. Yeah, nice. And it can be simple. Not for me, a jacket suit. It can be simple, but still look good. Three, having an individual sense of fashion. All right, speaking of taste, your style is your style. But I don't really depend on something you're going to wear. Some, <gasps> so outdated, old looking something, even for your age. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're 30, you really are walking or some, something will look like you're really 90. Or you just go, start go really lily. No, can't work. Um, well, we're getting some messages right now. Good. I like when a man smells good, feel good, and takes good care of their mom. Oh, yes, sister. Can I tell you? <laughs> Always when he is ambitious and have goals. Thank you so much, Shan. I appreciate love the input. All right, and the comment. Lady Grace says, you can take him go dentist if uh, only him teeth something wrong with. <laughs> if they're rotten out. You can not take him go dentist. Why? Yeah. Ras Tris says, just simply love and affection home and out on the road like a simple walk on the beach in a sunset oh my goodness Ooh, i like that one too oh my god <laughs> all right so let me get back to this yeah. <laughs> so in sense of fashion yeah in own style but him can't look too outdated because mm. you don't really want him to look outdated yeah mm. it's modern times all right four a guy who smells good oh boy oh boy Woo! You drive a woman crazy, man, when you smell good. You drive your girl crazy. She loves when you smell good. All parts of her start move up and down. True, true. Yeah. It's, it may seem simple, but women are very particular on how they want their man to smell. For them, a good smelling man is someone ready to hug and kiss. Therefore, they want someone who smells fresh and wears the right amount. Do. If you wear... Um, it's not Issy. What the other one name? Um, gray flannel. Do put on one little tubes. It strong bad. And if you put on too much gray flannel, you're gonna smell very gray. <laughs> All right, and not so flattering. All right, so put on your, your your cologne in moderation. And if you know, check your deodorant and see if it works for you, cause it's not everyone works for everybody. Mm. So make you smell green. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So buy the right one for yourself. And ladies, you can buy the man. A nice cologne too if you want to smell him, make him smell really nice. Yeah, that can't that can go on to. Worse if it's a case where you're not the only one spending. Yeah, man, buy my cologne with him own money to my time to man. Yeah, man. Five. Wit and sense of humor. Cassidy said for make her laugh. Here we go. A funny man beats a handsome man in a winning, in winning a girl's heart anytime. Me agree. Cause him cute and can't make me smile. 
Huh? Are you fucking? Huh? Right. <laughs> so, it is easy to imagine women rather spend their time with a man who makes her laugh at, the s at any time and place. A guy with a sharp sense of humor is a big turn on for them. Number six, a guy who knows what he wants in life. Some women are with some boogie agabutus and some kinakis who are not going anywhere, not have no vision, not have no goals. But I them choose that one. But the average woman with me know, think they want somebody who know we want to a life. If you're ambitious and you know it's going somewhere. For women, nothing beats a man who found his life's purpose and knows exactly what he wants to do. Because I'm gonna lead she and the family eventually, don't mm -hmm. it? Yeah. And if you know where you go, where you gonna lead me? You're gonna make me crash. Yes. Seven, a guy who is assertive and takes control. Control more than control. So a guy who, if he plans days before the actual day and decides which restaurant is best, sometimes it is refreshing to have the man do all the work. So they just slip on a dress and enjoy the day without stress. That's true. Sometimes the women want a break too. Mommy with the children every day is a she, she, she with the children doing all the, the work and the chores. And I'm just slip, saying. Slip on a what? The, the female will just slip on a dress and relax. Oh, what? If, the, <laughs> if the man helps her with stuff, you okay. know? Okay. So sometimes you can be assertive and be in control. Honey, I will cook today. Yeah. Just have, a, have an evening off. Mm -hmm. The day I cook. Mm -hmm. But you have some man who just have, some, have the woman as some robot and talk about it's a woman's job to cook. Go away with that. You understand? A woman is not a robot. You can assist her to and help out. Right? Make her feel special. So special it reaches special sometimes too. Give her a little break, man. Yeah, make sure you relax. Not going to knock you that. Real talk. Mm. Eight, a guy who knows how to cook. Why yo? Ha! Prestige. Holy pa curry food. You can get yeah. any girl any day. Holy pa curry food. Because your, your video, they might pick cook, you cook and eat. Yeah. Ah, uh, can I meet him and eat me? I tell you. Ever I cook. Yeah. All right. No pokey pig. No pokey pig. All right. <laughs> a guy who knows how to cook. Women think a man who has command in his kitchen is sexy. Amen, hallelujah. Seeing him with his apron on, oh my God, and sleeves rolled up as he prepares dinner is like watching a model strut a catwalk. It is a no-brainer that men who are capable of sharing kitchen work by the time they are married are worth keeping. And no better play way to a woman's heart than through um, her stomach. <laughs> Vivine says, good night, guys. Good night to you, Vivine. What about a man you think is very sexy? Make him sexy and you are appealed by it. What can a man do to impress you or to turn you on? All right? Nine, being passionate about something, no matter what it is. Yes, my man, I have heart and feeling about things to man. Yeah? Be it simply, be it simple hobby, such as a stamp collector, Social advocate, women get turned on by the determined look of a man who found, who found his passion. They see such men as geared towards success and bound to accomplish something very important in the future. All right? So he must have passion for something he might do. Yeah? Whatever job he's doing, he must be passionate about it. So if he's, a, if he's a janitor, if he's a carpenter, if he's a businessman, whatever he is, yeah? Be passionate about it. And do it to the best of your ability. Women love those things. Um, Gracie says, I wonder who go cook for me when me reach yard. <laughs> no more prestige or Cassidy, man. <laughs> All right. Marvin says, Papa Jesus is what kind of meat eating clear. <laughs> Talk prestige. <laughs> he cooks a lot. He cooks all different kinds of meats, and he's always eating. His mouth is ever full. When I, when I see his videos, his mouth is ever full. Yeah? So, number 10, knowing how to touch a girl right. Ha! That's correct. Mm -hmm. Men are creatures of testosterone. They are usually thought of as rough and aggressive. But when a man is gifted with a delicate touch yeah. and gentle hands, mm -hmm. a girl is certain she feels loved and special. Oh. Yes, man. Woo! Intelligence is number 11. Hearing a guy discuss his fascination with the mysteries of the universe or debates 
um, with his friends on political theory is a refreshing sight from the usual guy who only talks about his past conquests. A true man. Our last night's football game. Women are the type who find a guy who initiates enlightening and insightful conversations. She finds him very attractive. Now, come on, come see that. Yo, man, you, me say last night. You see the B, you me tell about some boy, she don't want to give me a chance, star. Me get her last night. And X, Y, Z, and A, B. No, 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 no. Mm -mm. You have to have a good, decent conversation, whether with me or with your friends, them, or your brethren, or my friends, them, where we have a discussion about any, pretty much any topic. Social issues, world issues. Mm. Yeah? Um, commercial issues, things are happening in Jamaica. We suppose you can talk about it. And not just about your, your last conquest where you have. Your personal end. relationship. Yeah, man. That not, mm. that not turn, turn on a woman, really. Mm. Not at all. Mm -mm. Mm. And your relationship with the girl. Mm -hmm. With the yeah. girl. Like, well, yeah. yeah. And you're gone yeah, around. Because, you know, man living in the same house, you know. Or yeah. you see her you know, as your girl, you know. Oh. And every day you're gone around and slaughter with other people. Mm. You just a slander, so you find out kind of bad things for your talk. That no good. Mr. Boy, the woman, so and so and so. Or if you have an issue, mm. you go out there and you slaughter our papa. Mm. And the irony of it is the same woman you come back home to when things get back better. That may have You're not at pillow again. Yeah. And you go tell your friend, them are talking about something. How would that work? I don't know how it works. What kind them. of feelings do you have to go amongst that woman? They know after you talk and they kind of things. Eh? Eh. Oh, eh? boy. Oh, boy. Yeah, oh, some boy. woman like that too. That's uh, true. Eh? South yeah. Carolina. Yeah. Marcia says, good night, guys. Good night yeah. to you. Can I'll be new. running through. Yeah. Quick, quick, quick. 12, a good housekeeper. One of, good those, one? <laughs> one of those overlooked things that turns girl on, a guy capable of running a household on his own. Not Doing you. what? Doing what? You mean, my gone from business trip. Mm -hmm. The children are there. You can't take care of them to me come back in, a, in, a, in a one week. We have nanny. No, we don't know nanny. Nanny. We don't have no nanny. Nanny of the maroons is not here. Look here. You <laughs> yeah, need to be able <laughs> to operate the yeah. home. The two little pit name we have. Mm -hmm. eh? If me not the whole place crash. Nan me need a break. Like home alone. Me glad you leave that me can get a break. A break from what? And the two, me have helper. If you don't want to use nanny, then we have helper Jamaica. Because <laughs> you don't need <laughs> nanny. Don't get <laughs> it. But you can't afford helper my you. Where we are going to find, we are going to make. Oh, you have to make me. preparation for that. You must be able Plans. to do the laundry, cook, buy the grocery. We don't have a problem with Who that. Feed the animal them what we have, the pet them what we have. We don't have a problem with them. that. We don't have a problem with that. I don't only just eat porky. Yeah. Tell you to pick them and the goat porky them. Porky pig, porky pig. Yeah? <laughs> you only can't, you just, porky you can't pig. just be eating the, the meat alone. You have to yes. can't go tie them out and make them get grass. I don't have a problem with that. Too. We have a caller on the 954. Good night, caller. Welcome to Real Talk. Good night, Cleo. So, this is Marvin. Yes, Marvin. What's up? Um, so uh, pertaining to that that last that last one you're talking about about the whole the whole student thing. Yes. You know, I realized um like my my wife had one on the phone. What did just before we got married and everything? We just had the had a date and um am sure asked her to watch her youngest youngest kid mm -hmm. for the weekend. And I'm like, uh, do I really want to do that? I'm like, yeah, whatever. I ain't got nothing else to do. I was out. Fine. And I took it, you know, I chilled for the weekend, took him out, took him to the mall, mm -hmm. gave him some ice cream. And I guess, I guess when she got back, you know what I mean, he was telling her, you know what I mean, all the stuff we did and yes. we got fun. And, and I, I come to realize that was one of the things that she really liked. I but of course. That, that, you know what I mean, I take her kids as not even mine and, you know what I mean, treat him as my own. Yeah. You know what I mean? Cook, clean, you know what I mean? Iron her clothes and Real talk. You know, her 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 closet was with all them shoes, you know what I mean, wipe them off, fix them up neatly and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> she likes stuff. She likes stuff like that. Real talk, my mother me reach your bad me tell me not lie. And a lot of a lot of guys they'll be like, oh them now do them something there. Can I be coming a little bit muffled there, Marvin? 
So, uh, pretty much, you know what I mean? I, 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 you know what I mean? And when it comes to smelling good, too, that's, that's something I always, always, always on top of. Mm-hmm. Always. Like, I run the middle of my clone, like, every week. Like, I'm on a clone, I got a home. Some of them I haven't even used them yet. Yes. I always, always like smelling good. That's when really. I'm going to work, I always spend five minutes trying to figure out which corner I want to use. Mm-hmm. Like one thing. I I I would never ever let nobody tell me, Hey, you smell kinda of funky. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. May I go pitch me a spray up. May I go give me a spray up like no matter Real what talk. I'm, I'm spraying up. Real talk. All right, Marvin, thank you so All much. Right, all right. For sharing. You All real, right. You realize uh-huh. Marvin, Sean from the Vox Pop. Question. <laughs> because what? Eh? In all his company here, you know, I have all these sweet talk for talk, you know. Uh-huh. You get me? So we're going to catch him one of this week, uh-huh. right? When we know say <laughs> things were never right in a relationship too, he can't talk about too. Uh-huh. No, those are sweet, 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 sweet no, talk man, all the he time. He's spoken about other things, man. Yeah? Yes, man, Marvin, talk about everything, man. Um, um, when you're not rude, yes, I man, work. good and bad man. Yes, well, man. more I hear that a partner with me, I work to that. We can't drill him on that. All right, sir. Yes, all right, Marvin, so big up yourself every we, time. We are out of time pretty much, yeah. but let me just Vivine. tell you what the others are. Open doors for her, a good listener. Yes, yes, yes. A guy who pays attention to details, a guy who's friendly to her pets. No, sir. That'd be nice. Mm, when he gets there. along. With her parents mm. and siblings, mm. a guy who takes care of her when PMS strikes, postmen menstrual syndrome and symptoms. Yeah, when she's going through that time, da, da, he cares for her and don't shy away from her. Da, da. All the things that turn girls on is not just about good looks, money, mm. and physique. Mm-hmm. Truth be told, it's about the simple things that make a girl feel loved. And special. Me when love when she cat. lose that, you know, I have no use me for her. I don't take care of cat. I love up my cat. Me no, me no, body. no cat. What will you take care of? The pussy cat? No. I okay. like dog. I don't have cat business. No cat at all? No. None at all? Ladies and gentlemen, no we're out of time. Prestige will have nothing to do with the cat. No oh cat. Oh, my goodness. You should have fish. Ah, you Take know what? Fish, <laughs> Blessings <laughs> to you too, my darling. Of course, earlier this week was said that a dirty man talk about them woman on the road. Real talk, yeah. plain and straight. Yeah, Vivian, yeah. big, big up to Vivine. you. To all our all listeners right. who text in tonight, mm. all those who called in, we appreciate it so much. Thank you, guys. Keep it locked. And, of course, do enjoy the rest of your wonderful, blessed weekend because you're alive. So you have to give Thanks for that. We do this again next week, Friday, God's willing. Until then, on behalf of my engineer, Cassidy, and my co-host, Prestige, 